Opie and Anthony. Uh, Cody in Indiana writes on Instant Feedback. I can't wait to see Ant's electric bill after Keith's wife decorates the Christmas lights brighter than the effing uh, Luxor. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about our Christmas lights and stuff uh, yesterday. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, because I kind of want to do Christmas uh, Christmas over my house kind of a thing. You know, we do Christmas Eve over uh, Grandma's uh, old house. Now it's, you know, my aunt and uncle's house pretty much. I love it. You're talking about up lights. Yeah. You, you really lights. are a true WAP, aren't you? I am such <laughs> a gin, ginzo. Ginzaloon. Gin, yeah, I really am because, uh, uh, well, I'm I really can't. the only Catholic in my neighborhood. Uh, oh, that's it's, right. It's an entire that. Jewish neighborhood. And you really let it be known. I put... Uh, I I I put decorations up that le- it leaves no doubt that I am Catholic. It's I this short of a manger on my lawn with the baby Jesus. Now you would go with real people though. Yeah, make them hang out. On That's your a lawn. good idea. It's cheap to have. Hey, uh, tell them about the wreath you get. The wreath is probably nine to, feet across. They have to get they, a crane. They get a cherry picker and put it up uh, above my door. Um, Biggest wreath you've ever seen. And, and, and then there's a couple of uh, real guinea columns is that I have Jason on the side of my house. And Christmas big, vacation. Yeah. big red bows go on the big guinea columns. Yeah. And uh, lights going up the walkway and uh, on the trees. Oh. So, yeah, the Jews in my neighborhood are just like, oh, boy, here oh. he goes. Here goes the Italian It's going to be another mass of Pequa before we know well, it. <laughs> <laughs> Here he is. This I'm is sure all of his organized crime friends are going to be over. But this is all my friend. Hey, I go, what to other show do you listen to? And they're talking about arc welding. He's yes. Like, <laughs> he's like, hey, watch out. I'm warning you. Well, yeah. he's suddenly. Do- he opened his bills Great. yesterday, and they're just out of hand. I, I'm really. The electric uh, bill's out of hand. I'm he, hurting the environment. He, he used 197,000 gallons of water since the last water bill. <laughs> 197,000 <laughs> gallons. And, and Stunt Brain uh, brings this to everyone's attention today. Uh, when you have huge spikes in usage like you, you're, you're showing, yeah, you, you know they investigate that stuff because they, they're convinced you're growing like pot and stuff. Why in, would in they the think because I had a spike in water and electricity <laughs> that I'm growing something? <laughs> but they really do. That really is like water and electricity. Yeah. I need the lights uh, for the plants, and then I need the water to irrigate the uh, the plants. and. Uh, there's, he, there's no the investigation plant growing ends, in my house. The investigation ends with uh, the guy just writing across the top of his sheet, Enrich, no problem. <laughs> Enrich, no problem. <laughs> by which we're, I mean, we're moving on from this By which case. I mean Nouveau Riche. Of course, yes. Nouveau Riche. You're what t- else could that mean? <laughs> you're telling everyone you're putting a movie theater in the basement, but maybe you're doing something else. Uh, no, no, it's a, a home home theater. There's a there's lot of room in that there. basement, man. I had the... Uh, you're a crass fool. Your basement's so big, if you were growing pot... <laughs> Plants, you'd have to get the the migrant workers there. Yeah, yeah. Make it on there. Yeah. He's got them there. Who's he kidding? <laughs> He's using Americans to fix that house up. They're all Americans. Oh, please, my friend. They are the, the, all the uh, construction guys in the yeah, basement. Central Americans. They're all, <laughs> all Americans. Uh, had the HVAC guy come over uh, yesterday, which was pretty interesting for me since I spent all of my years before radio doing, doing exactly air conditioning that. and heating work. So uh, I see the van pull up, and I'm like. Now I'm that guy. I go, I'm the ass. I'm the the douche. <laughs> it, I, it just made me feel like... And then I'm trying to be overly like nice and, hey, what's hey, up? Buddy, like, you like not be like those guys, there's a hose out back if you're thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, I all of a sudden was the guy. And no matter what I do, I'm the guy. Right, right, Which right. sucks. That's great. Like, I don't want to be the guy, but I don't want to be the guy doing the work anymore. <laughs> I did that for years. <laughs> they don't do it right. You got to regretfully go, oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I'm uh, looking at... So, See, I, no, Anthony's bringing up the old days, and the old air conditioner is like, yeah, hey, yeah, you yeah. still got that fetter? <laughs> yeah, well, oh, no, we got new equipment now that we do that. What do you got? Let me see the gauges. I'll charge this unit myself. Bring me uh, bring me the Freon. We don't use Freon anymore. Um, <laughs> Sir. Just vent it to the atmosphere, and we'll pu- pump some more in. No, we recover the refrigerant now, Anthony. It's not like the old days. They're old-timer. <laughs> He's trying to roll up his sleeves. Yeah. Yeah, I, let, let me get in there. I know a thing or two about a thing or two. You guys would just dump the, the, the waste on the side of the LIA. Oh, I dude, as you're going great. back to home oh, base. Yeah, yeah. You know, it used to be that's vent. old school, my friend. That's vent right. to atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, fluorocarbons just. 
this big white cloud of ozone killer <laughs> would just whoosh. rises over Floral Park. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now they will kill you if they catch you doing that. You've got to recover uh, mm-hmm. the refrigerant. They call free on its refrigerant. Yeah, it's like Russia. You can't even yeah. throw any uh, yeah. things in the air. You can't even put your friggin' motor oil down the sewer anymore. What's, what's up with that? <laughs> Colin, how many times did you change your oil on your car and just let it go right down the sewer in front oh. of your house? Oh. <laughs> oh, Most people are still doing That's that. That's what you did. No, still, you are. A lot but, of but they are that. doing in, that. In trashy neighborhoods, I guess. They yeah. look yeah. to their They look to their left. They look to their right, and they took hey, over that, that can. Sure I get abuse from my family for making yeah. fun of Shirley. Oh, oh, Shirley. <laughs> oh, Mastic and Shirley. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, um, <laughs> the Twin Cities. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was a, I was a caddy yeah. for 12, 14 years. So caddy. Yeah. And every once in a while, we'll play in a charity golf tournament or whatever, and we'll get a caddy. And I'm just reminded what you were doing with the, uh, <laughs> the, the you know, air conditioner guy. I go, hey, I used to do, you know, what you're doing there. Yeah, correct. And I actually had a caddy go, good for you. No <laughs> one wants to hear that. <laughs> the, the, the guy just did not. He goes, good for you. No one uh, wants to hear putter. that. Here's your putter. I'm, I'm, I'm the same age as you, and you're not doing this anymore, and I oh. still am. Good for you. No Nobody one cares, wants no. to hear that you did that, and you can help him out. No mm. one cares about your local boy made good mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. story. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, beat it, stupid. Oh, and and by the way, you anymore. had a seven on the last hole, not a five. <laughs> the, the poor bastard's got to move my radio-controlled jet helicopters <laughs> yeah. while, uh, so he can put in some flex pipe. Well, you stand there with a naked 19-year-old. Yeah, I used to knock ten. <laughs> Drinking <laughs> <Get> beer. <laughs> right, just, wine glass in one hand, yeah. a supple breast in the other. Yeah. <laughs> a party hat, magnum condoms in your upper pocket. <laughs> I used to do what you did until my life began. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the obstacle course through the women that are passed oh, out. Oh, is that awful? To get to the work area. Yeah, but when I realized, like, I'm the guy. I'm yeah. the guy that was the douche. That's so funny. Ugh. Stop trying to kidnap. Bob Kelly does that, too. We used to live in the same building. Yeah. He's the biggest idiot. We, we lived at uh, the same building. What, with was... fat people? <laughs> I used to be a big slob, yeah, dude. One big freight elevator. <laughs> now he's losing weight and ruining our good time. Yeah. Bastard. He's, but he's uh, the beautiful thing about Bob is though he really Nothing. is like no, but he's like oh. he's one he's one like cut out of a Dane movie away from obesity again, which is great. Cause <laughs> Bob will never not be a fat so waiting to happen. Bobby uh, would walk in. We would always walk into the lobby, and he would just stand there and overly try to be relatable. Hey, how you doing there, Frank? Just like shut up. They, they work here. Just say hello. Yeah. And go upstairs. Stop trying to act like you're one of the guys because you feel guilty about the minimal success that you've had. <laughs> hey, we got to go to the phones. Uh, you touched on some, Ant, that that got him lit. Wayne, go ahead. Hey, how you doing, guys? Good, hey, Wayne. When I worked at a gas station like years ago, for all the bad gluten and stuff we did, we used to just dump antifreeze down the drain because my boss told so. He was too cheap to pay. Any type of recovery fee, which I thought was very disgusting and despicable, but... Oh, sure you did, but you did it anyway. I was only following orders. And we wonder why we're all uh, getting cancer. Everyone's getting cancer, and we're like, we can't figure out why. I I had had a a polar bears of purple. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I had a Volkswagen uh, bug. I had a Volkswagen bug that I made into one of those... Bug, dune buggy, uh, hybrid right, Baja you, bug things. Right, you made it cool. Yeah, I tried. Ugh. Was that when you were out in L.A. with the... No, no, this was... Yeah, Jimmy yeah, Jackson. Jimmy Jackson. Actually, they had dune buggies, of course. <laughs> why Why wouldn't they? And uh, I, I blew an engine in the thing and had to um, uh, tell his squaw that he was a homo. No. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. I got Think it. About, I, uh, I dumped the entire engine down into the sewer. I pulled up the grate, and somewhere in the avenues in Northport is a sewer with a Volkswagen engine in it. Just the oil, oh. everything just dripping out of it. And, but we didn't, who cared? Yeah, you know. Who cared? Oh, that's good stuff. Kyle, why are you here, no by got the my way? Joke. Are we promoting I, 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 I got it. it. I'm kidding. What are you, what are you like promoting today? I would today? beg for any Caroline's. Really? I would beg yeah. for acceptance. <laughs> Stop. So we, we do that for five hours a day. Yeah. Begging for love and acceptance. <laughs> you there this week? Don't just jump in like you're Mr. Professional. Like you can carry on two conversations But no, I, re- I didn't want to step. I'm so mentally... Um, oh, yeah, uh, I was paying attention. Shut Colin. up! No, I was asking. Opie asked me but in I a know. civilized manner. We, Nobody <laughs> even introduced me. That I was here yet. By the way, my but name. You don't was have not, to. You just the voice. Hush. No one knows your voice. Hush. Right now. Yeah. Hush. 
But no, we, me and Aunt were talking about something. And you guys did the plug-in. Like, why do I? I know, but I just plug? don't like you acting like you're Mister Dexterity. Like, oh, by the way, what are you plugging? Like, what I'm you, on every and level. Why, and why do you need the big intro all of a sudden? Yeah, what do you need? What's wrong with you? What Nothing. You Sit down, and start talking. Uh, we'll you get guys. To your name. That's eventually. what I did. Yeah, we know who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, we got to stop the show because. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> like, as Coming into our uh, studio. As we've uh, been promising the great. and promoting. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sit down. That voice, it would Sit be like. If, tell jokes. Like if Rosie Perez came in, we wouldn't have to intro her either. <laughs> so, Collins at Caroline's. Rosie Perez uh, coming in? Uh, no. Colin Quinn, Caroline's this weekend. Yeah. Tonight, I'll obviously. give out the number. 212 Yeah. 4100. Yeah. For tickets. No, I just didn't like Jim's new like angle. Like he covers all bases. Yeah, it's the way I do it. You know. Uh, I we'll went go, to the. We'll go to Colin now. Yeah, but he just busted in like I can do ten things at once. Uh, <laughs> and you'll be proud that they're still going old school out there. Oh, good. Nick in New York. Hey, What's Nick. Up? Hey, What's Nick? up, man? What's up, buddy? Hey. You're on the air, uh, sir. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, no, I was just wanted to let you know that um, I work for an HVAC company. I'm actually going there right now. But we still rent uh, free on this year. We actually bought it, like the home, home or bucket or whatever from Depot, put a free online in it. And uh, we just bumped the free on to that. We're still venting and stuff. <laughs> You know what he's saying? Because yeah, yeah, the phone was all messed dumping. up. He's just saying he's still opening up the valve and, and dumping Freon right onto the ground. still dumping Freon. The two years I've been there, I never once put it into a recovery system. <laughs> Are you even certified? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. How did you get certified? Dude, <laughs> dude, dude, you are every helper I ever had. <laughs> I used to call them no helpers. There was no help. It was like, you just just fall asleep on the insulation. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say hi to Eric in Jersey. Eric. <laughs> Joe the AC hey, guy. What's up, Eric? <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, when I was uh, in the United States Navy, I was ordered to pump 1,800 gallons of used oil into the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> It's just see. This is what's really going on out there. Uh, and then, exactly. you get, then you get some dopey lady bringing her own bag to the supermarket, thinking she's making a change. That's yeah, great. just just take the plastic bag like the rest ordered. of us. I was ordered to do eighteen hundred. Oh, ordered. I love that. Ordered because because he, he he knows he's got to answer to God someday. He's yes, like, Look, sir. They told me to do like, God. I, the only time he ever confessed was right now. Here on this right. Yeah, yeah. I was ordered, uh, and you will pump that fuel out into the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Dan in New York. Hey, Dan. Dan? Hey. Dan? Yes. That's me, Dan. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. Hey, um, uh, my dad's auto body shop, there was this one spot in front of the shop where we dump all the old oil and fluids and everything. I uh, my dad started growing tomatoes there, like, after 20 years of dumping. I started giving <laughs> the tomatoes out to all the... Uh, all the vendors and uh, customers that came by. <laughs> it's just one tomato gives you tumors. <laughs> it just gets, it gets worse. And worse. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now he's growing stuff for people to eat in the oil, <laughs> the poison. in the poison soil. To the other vendors. <laughs> <laughs> How great is that? <laughs> How about a nice tomato? Yeah, here you go. You know, you don't see uh, anymore that you used to see a lot of the abandoned oh. car. That, like that right. was a phenomenon on the expressway, the parkways here in New York, especially. Right, that's right. The abandoned car you was don't see that. on the side of the road, just stripped and sitting there. I wish one of my brothers would call. Brett tells a, a hilarious story. My dad was one of those guys. He was abandoned car guy. Yeah, yeah. car got stolen, saving money, insurance. He, he would dump them under the bridges, you know, coming into New York City. Mm. They're like stolen, <laughs> and or, like on the road. You right. see it on the side of the expressway, well, the parkways, just stripped cars. Right. Like, you wouldn't even think about it. But those aren't cars that break down. Those are cars that that people are, like, dumping them. I did that once where you, you but, crowbar out the VIN number. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I did that. But then and, my, and then my dad would come home with some ridiculous story, but we were on to him. He, when he got, <laughs> but when he got older, this is, this is where the, the bit's going, a mile away from the house in a parking lot that we go to a lot. You know, Friendly's <laughs> up near, uh, you know, on 25A? Oh, certainly. Uh, across the street a little further toward my house. I'd throw fribbles on my back there. <laughs> there there's our Toyota sitting there. And my dad's denying it's our Toyota. <laughs> nah, no, look away. No license plates. We're like, Dad, it's what, it's right up the street. What are you doing? <laughs> nope, nope. That ain't it. Just Dude, looks like it. We have license plates on ours. What are you talking <laughs> yeah. about? Right. Stacks was always crazy. It when I found the car, it had prints it had a, all over it. It had a Geneseo <laughs> sticker in the back window where I went to college. 
Oh, oh you got to hear my brother tell it. It's oh. like, Dad, what do you, you know, we understand if you're going to go into Brooklyn or the Bronx, but, it, you know, you're getting you lazy. It right there. You're getting lazy. <laughs> well, a lot of people go to Geneseo. It's a big school. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Come probably on. what he said at the time. I think a lot of cars, if you broke down on the expressway or, or one of the parkways, you knew your car was screwed. Like, they were just roving bands of hooligans that would take the tires, the doors. Right. They'd work like at, right. like ants taking apart a cricket. Yeah. It would really, <laughs> they were very proficient at it. And uh, that just doesn't happen anymore. Uh, dumping Freon is a $10,000 fine. Yeah, you really get. Uh, and now we go to Indiana. For that one. Dave, what's going on? Hey, man. <clears throat> Pardon me. When I was, uh, when I was stationed in uh, Virginia Beach in the Navy, uh, as you may be aware that towards the end of the fiscal year government agencies have to use their budget up or they lose it the following year so we would go ahead and gas up the planes they fly them out over the atlantic and they dump jp5 into the ocean come back fill up repeat process wow. <laughs> repeat Just process dump, dump jet fuel into the ocean repeat process. come back until your tanks are dry and they could say well we need the money for this much fuel again repeat that's exactly, process that's exactly right that's exactly right oh. the blivets to hang off the uh the wings, they hold like 300 gallons each or something like that. I can't remember how many tons of fuel it is, but it's an A6 used to hold about 18,000 tons. Just like dropping full uh, wing uh, tanks. <laughs> uh, that, that plane could fly from uh, Virginia Beach to California without gassing up, and it was back empty in 15 minutes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Where else would you hear the reality of the uh, America? The, and this is what, you know, when I see, that's why, when I see Obama or McCain and they're talking about taxes and spending and stuff, <laughs> it's like, you're all full of crap. Just shut up. This is business as usual. You want to cut the budget down, take care of that kind of stuff. Oh, Unbelievable. Right, but we're all going. Uh, you do too, man. Thanks. But we're all going green. <laughs> yeah, we're going green, all right. Yeah, we're going green. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Colin Quinn and Caroline's this weekend. We're going to take a break. Enough fuel to fly cross country. Gone in 15 minutes. Oh, Speaking wow. of comedy, did you see Obama and McCain uh, doing the funny last No, I did Stand not. up. We They're a funny guy. You can see it on the break. A couple of zingers. Well, I want to get your yeah. uh, Only one. On the I know. Oh, a singer. <laughs> as, a seasoned, <laughs> as a seasoned veteran, I want to get your opinion All on right. the whole thing. I'd like to see it. <laughs> All right. Opie and Anthony. We are back. You want to kick him in the balls now? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> We got Colin Quinn in studio today. Whoa. Opie and Anthony. What an intro. Now people know I'm here. Caroline's this weekend. 212 757 4100. And I'm so glad you're here today because you you brought it to everyone's attention about uh, Jimmy and his obsession with his brand new camera. I know, and he he's really been talking about up. his brand new camera for the last four days. He snarled on me. Too. All he's doing is reading a manual. <laughs> I <laughs> never read the manual. I never do. I, I just point and shoot. And my last camera is probably a good. Are camera. we talking about cameras now? Oh, come on, Carl. Uh, don't be fresh. Uh, so I had a Sony, which uh, maybe took good pictures, but I just didn't know how to use it. I hear you. This is compelling. This is the thing. No, it is. It's good. I go to B and H. It's a funny story. <laughs> Big lines. I'm like, what am I going to do? Right. Big lines of Jews, right? Oh, no, no, all people. The Jews were. Oh. I don't like to be stereotyped. <laughs> they know how to run that place. Yeah, they sure do. That place they is do. Fantastic. They run it like, uh, well, anyway. Well. Uh, they run it like they learned that technique somewhere. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> Jesus. Right. You know what? Hey. Oh, wow. Fight them. If you, for the people Christ, outside New I York, shock this now? What's for the on? people outside New York City, if you make it here, make sure you doctor. make sure That's you great. make sure you stop by B and H and see how they run that joint. Yeah, they really do. Pretty amazing. So anyway, my Canon camera is working very well, and I'm reading the manual during breaks and trying oh. all the little options. I mean, I'm having the proverbial ball. Oh, yeah, my new camera. We see. Some of those guys are fans of the show too, believe it or not. Yep. Yeah. Some of the hysterics. Yes, I didn't have show. to wait. It was a tremendous line. And I'm talking to the one guy. I'm like, well, I'm on the Opie and Anthony show. We kind of promote you guys a lot. They go, I can't do it. <laughs> I just wanted them to ring me up. As low as it can go. No, it wasn't a price issue, boy. I wouldn't not. even think of it. All right, little old Jim. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, last little, instead night, instead of little Jimmy Norton, literal Jimmy Norton, yeah. literal Jimmy Norton, yeah, yeah one of his yeah. many characters, Colin. Last night, right. uh, Obama and McCain at this Al Smith dinner. I had no idea they were going to make jokes. It was yeah, way better than weird. It was way better than the debate. Yeah, but it's still yeah. bizarre that suddenly in the middle of this like heated thing where the whole country's crisis, hey, we have to live this tradition of cracking a few jokes. Yeah, yeah and where they're it's just, strange, they're no? bashing each other. 
but then the day they, before, the day after, but then uh, they take a little time out. But then they're following the roast format. They're killing each other. Then at the end, they're saying unbelievable good things about each other. It's, it's like, bizarre. Wait, the night before, you were basically saying he's a terrorist. You're old. It's yeah. kind of you like saying, hey America, running mate. Yeah. hey, America, we're not on the same page with you. This is all over. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a joke. Kind of what I was thinking, Colin. Weird, it's isn't like it? like one day Bush and Bin Laden just sitting next yeah. to each other goofing. Hey, <laughs> funny, funny hat you got on. <laughs> but let me t- yeah, we're not in that. Uh, we're not in their club. They got a little it's secret very club, and they're playing uh, playing us like fools. Uh, here's McCain starting out with some uh, Joe the Plumber material. Oh, Jesus. Events are moving fast in my campaign. And yes, it's true that this morning... I've dismissed my entire team of senior advisors. All of their positions will now be held by a man named Joe the Plumber. Joe the Plumber makes a joke. Already. Uh, That was was quite a long setup for that one, boy. My opponents have been subjecting Joe to their vicious attack machine. (laughs) His veracity has been questioned by Barack Obama's running mate, Joe the six-term senator. He claims that this honest, hard-working small businessman could not possibly have enough income to face a tax increase under the Obama plan. What they don't know, what they don't know, is that Joe the Plumber recently signed a very lucrative contract with a wealthy couple to handle all the work on all seven of their houses. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Making fun of himself, right? Got to got to You know, you got to make fun of yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty funny. If yeah. you laugh in the world kind of laughs with you, you know. That's yeah, always been my philosophy. That, that's uh, Jimmy. Yeah, you is the best medicine. <laughs> yeah, to bring it home for everyone. <laughs> Turns out Joe the plumber is a fraud, huh? Uh, finding he? out he's not really a plumber. What? You know, Hope he's Joe the pederast. Yeah. Or, yeah. or Joe oh, the wait. chicken hawk. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying the same. <laughs> Bravo. Um Joe the pederast plumber. That's actually like Dora the Explorer, Joe the Pederast Plumber. <laughs> he was uh Oh back- look at Obama in that I mean he really looks like who am I trying to A waiter? <laughs> <laughs> he should be dancing on the steps with Shirley Temple. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> just borrow. I'm yeah. trying, baby, I'm trying. It, 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 it was at the Waldorf, so yeah, he probably just borrowed up waiter's uniform. <sighs> I didn't Damn. realize everyone was dressing up because your I uniform. Mean, just uh, the, all that that skin. Exactly. Tied up in that tie. Just needs a satin <laughs> pillow tied to the back of his head. <laughs> he just tied his neck skin into a bow tie and spray painted it white. White's just not a good color for that guy. He no. should stay no. away from the color white. Yeah. yeah. Everything just blends together. He, uh, looks like a, he looks like a sausage tied up with string, you know? <laughs> McCain continues. There's signs of hope, even in the most unexpected places, even in this room full of proud Manhattan Democrats. I can't. I can't shake that feeling that some people here are pulling for me. I'm delighted to see you here tonight, Hillary. (laughs) That's a good one. That's a good one. Boy, is he nailing this. He's nailing it. That was a good one. That was a good joke. Uh, I warmed up to the guy now. I'm like, why don't you do this during the debate? good jokes, yeah. I wonder who wrote that. Does he do any joke that says, um, you put Velcro on the ceiling? <laughs> Does it end like that? <laughs> or three if you slice him thin enough? <laughs> it is a rose. What the yeah, hell? Yeah, why not? An <laughs> empty boat. <laughs> I go to Norton. Who do you think wrote this? He goes, Voss. <laughs> Voss. That's right. Hey, uh, hey uh, Congressman McKay. No, he's not a congressman. All right, whatever, <laughs> but I'm just writing. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, you told me he was. <laughs> odds are we know the guy that wrote this material. Yeah. Who was it? With a lawyer under each arm. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have all the oil. <laughs> oh, yeah, he, throws it, he gets desperate, throws a couple yeah. of his jokes in at the end. <laughs> They ain't have all the oil. And I'm dodging her. <laughs> nice. I'm yeah. dodging her. And then at the end, he just runs out, Louie, Louie. Yeah. Uh, Louie Beans. <laughs> Be- Louie Beans. Uh, Louie Plummer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long, long night at MSNBC if I manage to pull this thing off. For <laughs> starters, I, und- 
understand that Keith Overman has ordered up his very own Mission Accomplished banner. And they can hang that in whatever padded room has been reserved for him. Damn. Nice, right? I just hate the fact that douche Oberman is getting like uh, like he's a force to be reckoned with attention. Yeah. Ugh. Sickens me. Ugh. Well, you're the one that wrote a whole chapter of him in the new book. Oh, funny you should say that, Carl. Uh, oh. Pre-orders available on Amazon now for I Hate Ooh. Your Guts. Wow. <laughs> I no Hate Your four. Guts is I the name of your book. no one tried to make you change the title? No, they loved awesome. it. That's they loved awesome. That's a good one. I it's very good guts. One. Can you we have a picture of one. guts out in the front? Yeah, and then me pointing at them like, yuck! <laughs> <laughs> Hating them. <laughs> Hating them. That was a taste of McCain. You guys want to hear Obama? Sure. Yeah. White people are crazy. Yeah, right? <laughs> Does he just go into that whole act? That would be a good one. I got to say, I think McCain uh, kicked his ass last night. Yeah? Uh, with the funny. Yeah, I think Obama fell a little short. You don't see how white people walk? No. <laughs> So, like, so there's a lot of white people here tonight. <laughs> so Al Smith was an old uh, politician, right? Because governor. governor, okay, because Obama's going to. Uh, Is it Alfred E. Smith or was that? Yeah, right. he's going to refer to him. Of course, I'm right. He's going to refer yeah, to him. High school when he was governor. Houses, uh, he's going to refer to him in this first joke. Uh, Al Smith ran for president in 1928. That's key as well. 28. Yes, he's very old. Wait, against uh, Woody, old. Woody Wilson, who did, who was he running running against? 28. Roosevelt. It, it is an honor to be here uh, with Al Smith. Uh, I obviously never knew your great grandfather, but from everything that Senator McCain has told me, uh, <laughs> how's it going? All right. Of them had a great time together before Prohibition. So, why would you have a great time before Prohibition? Because oh, you were drinking, stupid. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, McCain should have shot back, like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you met him, too. You were serving the uh, racist. Yeah, yeah, one of those things. I'm sure you had a great time before the Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> you would have said, shut up, cracker. Yeah. <laughs> These crackers are hilarious. In the last few weeks, John's been out on the campaign trail and asked the question, who is Barack Obama? <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little surprised by this question. Uh, the answer is right there on my Facebook page. <laughs> but... Look, I, I don't want to be coy about this. We're a couple of weeks from an important election. Americans have a big choice to make. And if anybody feels like they don't know me by now, let me try to give you some answers. Who is Barack Obama? Contrary to the rumors that you've heard, I was not born in a manger. I was, I was actually born on Krypton and sent here by my father, Jor L, to save the planet Earth. Or L. Oh, what a white nerd talking about comic book stuff. Yeah. He's already got Patton Oswalt's vote. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Jor L. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Many of you know that I got my name, Barack, from my father. Uh, what you may not know is Barack is actually Swahili for Bat One. <laughs> That's a good joke. That is good. And I got my middle name from somebody who obviously didn't think I'd ever run for president. <laughs> Great job. Damn. These guys are on fire. They're, just, They're on fire. Yeah. Just put them, uh, put them in the, the comedy clubs. What, what, what are they doing running for president? They should have been running commercials for this all week. Yeah. No one saw this it's because it, it just showed up on like some of the news channels in the middle of the night. They didn't publicize it. They should have pumped this up. Like you're gonna get to see like, these guys uh, to show up like being Norton human. Shows at the Wilton. That's right. <laughs> the Wilbur. Whatever. Ah, right. oh, the Wilton. <laughs> what is the Wilton? In L.A., that's a theater. Oh, silly. Well, I'm not at in L.A. I'm doing well, I'm part of the room scene. in L.A. Oh, God, you're <laughs> missing the whole I know scene. Boss had something to do with McCain's thing because he said, "Could I only you a bike? Could I buy you one of my houses?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and Barack's like, I'm not going to say I got a car. Why would I say that? <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 trust me, it never doesn't work. <laughs> they promoted the debate like crazy for, yeah, for what? The for what reason? Stunk and that thing was great. People would have watched those. Those are great lines. Just what? could drop them off anywhere. <laughs> Voss punch lines. Yes. Well, we had to put McCain in a rest area. <laughs> <laughs> One more uh, clip from Obama. <laughs> but I know Senator McCain agrees that some of the rumors out there are getting a bit crazy. Uh, I mean, uh, Rupert, the other day, Fox News actually accused me of fathering two African American children in wedlock. <laughs> <laughs> Holy jeez! Nice. Huh? Wow! How about this, Obama? That's, That's something. Nice. How about it? He's got my vote now. These brothers better hope they. they <laughs> You better hope the brothers don't catch on to irony in the next two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at that. Oh. By the way, John, I'm just curious, is the, Fox uh, News included event? in the media? Because 
I'm always hearing about this love. <laughs> it's not just curious. curious. It included in the media, because I'm always hearing about this love. I don't get it. I, well, I'll explain it, because Fox everyone's saying leave. the media loves Obama, and he's, he's oh, saying I'm always hearing about this love. See, Fox News wouldn't, Fox News. because right, they're, uh, he's you know, right, though, the one out of racist, networks. crazy. Okay. Oh, believe me. Yeah. I was watching, I was on Fox last night, just taping one of my many appearances, and uh, they were showing uh, Dreyfus. And all these just fruity the liberals. The Dreyfus case? Complaining. It's like, oh, Dreyfus Fox. Funds. <laughs> like when they're interviewed on the red carpet, they all have to comment on Fox. It's I know. Like, you shut the, you've had the media for so many. You can't handle one network that are not a bunch of bleeding. Oh, they make me sick. It is. It is one uh, network that is slanted really conservative. Right. Not mm -hmm. a bunch of babies. Now, now, going back to what Colin said, this was weird because the debate was two days ago and they're killing each other, right? Right. At this thing last night, this is what McCain had to say about Obama. I don't want it getting out of this room, but my opponent is an impressive fellow in many ways. Political opponents can have a little trouble seeing the best in each other. But I've had a few glimpses of this man at his best, and I admire his great skill, energy, and determination. It's not for nothing that he's inspired so many folks in his own party and beyond. <laughs> Senator Obama talks about making history, and he's made quite a bit of it already. There was a time when the mere invitation of an African-American citizen to dine at the White House was taken as an outrage and an insult in many quarters. Today is a world away from the cruel and prideful bigotry of that time and good riddance. I can't wish my opponent luck, but I do wish him well. What the? What well, the, that's what the, the, he should just run that as a campaign ad now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just have Obama run that. You should run some of those zingers. Are you allowed yeah. to use your jokes? Mm. They should both run their jokes. This shows, yeah. shows like Colin was saying. This is all crap in the end. It also yeah. shows something else. Humor is the great uniter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Colin. Uh, and you know what they say? It's the best medicine. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I what mean, I could. Said. You know, I'm like a doctor. <laughs> you know, just heal it. Obama also said, <laughs> maybe, maybe if you weren't reading the manual, you would have heard me say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to bring that up. We this is going great. All the time. I that was it. a great example of not listening. We do it all oh, the time. And we don't listen. There's nothing funnier to us either. <laughs> it's how, just, how many pages? i got to stop reading the manual. How many pages in are you? You could have read a nice book by now. I'm. Uh, it's a nice book. It's about his camera. Uh, was, no uh, one reads manuals. What are you I, that's doing? Why, that's why. Because I want to learn to use this camera. He just, wants just to know point everything and about shoot. it. Yeah. Well, no. I'm taking, yes. I'm taking penis shots, and I want to learn the best way to <laughs> to really make every object around them look. It's just all about the forced angle. perspective. Yeah. Absolutely. That's what it's it an is. angle thing. Jim, oh, he's right. Jimmy. You could have read a good book. <laughs> a good I book. I, I couldn't. I was writing one. Oh. Don't give us touche. Don't give us the Jesse the body answer. We're not going to oh. fall for it. What? Oh, I remember. Oh, right, right. He someone, did say that. Someone's a fan. Hey, <laughs> Obama, Obama, in turn, had something nice to say about McCain, but because we're like left-leaning over here, we're not going to play it. So. Hey. All right. Uh, what? Right. No. I want to hear it. Right. I want to especially... I don't want to hear more sincerity. Uh, I can't take it. To, this to Senator McCain, uh, we are in the midst of a tough battle right now, uh, and uh, American politics at the presidential level is always tough. But uh, I've said before, and I think it bears repeating, that uh, there are very few of us who have served this country with the same dedication uh, and honor and distinction as Senator McCain. And I'm glad to be sharing the stage with him tonight, as I am during the course of this nomination. Nice. Not as good as what McCain not said a, about neither Obama. Neither one of them is good. I don't want to hear any more sincerity. That no. was... Uh, the jokes were good. No, you know why? Because uh, McCain was able to throw that race thing in, saying, like, yeah, there was yeah, a time... Yeah, but he could have the other thing in. He could have said this man was, you know, mm. sitting there in the Hanoi Hilton for five years. Yeah, he could have been know. a little more detailed on why he his yeah. service was so uh, amazing. You know, because uh, McCain did bring up the fact that... You know, but I mean, was both, who cares anymore about both of us? What did McCain bring up that it was so great? Hey, he's not a slave anymore. There was a time that we're an like invite brother. to the White House but would never happen, and now that's only my house. But he's not. He's not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, Chris. Uh, Chris M. You were asking Al Smith who he ran against. This is uh, Chris's instant feedback. Got to read it word for word. Al Smith ran against Herbert Hoover in 1928. Oh, comma he lost. Really, Chris. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> he lost. Thank, thanks for telling us <laughs> Thank that. <you. laughs> we know that part. Would have changed the All in the Family song. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that is brilliant. Ah, Colin. Jimmy, don't look at me. Go read your manual if you're not having fun. <laughs> I was nodding. I like the new zinger. I read was, your manual for Jim. I was nodding in silent enjoyment of that joke. Well, well it sure didn't look that way from here. I was, well, then you were misreading me. I was Well, oh, well. <laughs> yes. If Anthony's not going to do his impression, Hello. I'm going to do a bad one. Yes. Reagan's. What? Well, you know, laughter is the best medicine. Can't you do Reagan as Dice? I just dice? forgot that someone else said it. <laughs> Why can't you do Reagan as Dice as yes. Bobby? So I'm standing at line. Uh, um, well, I'm standing on line at the bank. And, well, I got my tongue up this chick's. <laughs> and I say, well, you know, we're at the bank. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yes. It's Ronald Dice Reagan. <laughs> Hickory Dickory Doc. This chick was <laughs> my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, just please, I, I hate yeah. to put you, I hate yes. to get human jukebox out of you, but can you do Dice given the Reagan debate with the other guy where you won't use his. It's trickle down economics. <laughs> Why don't you listen to me? You, you, you give up a top, it's gonna trickle down at some point. You jackass! What's the matter with you? Hey, f off face! I got a request. Could you do the space shuttle one? <laughs> when Reagan had to talk to the family. <laughs> hey, you know, these uh, astronauts from the Challenger. Yeah. You know they they uh, reached up. Uh, they slipped the surly bonds of earth and touched the face of God. <laughs> you hear me? You know they were here on earth, and they're over there now. <laughs> now they're over there now. <laughs> you know they were here alive in the spaceship, and then all of a sudden, I'm over here now with God. <laughs> slipping the surly bonds of earth and touching his face. And God's like, get your stinking hands off of me. Puh. And that, uh, what was the chick's name, the teacher, that whoa. What was she? The, the, I want to be on this spaceship. Why don't you stay home? Cook me breakfast, honey. Chris, Chris McCulloch, yeah. Macaulay Culkin, whatever. Ah, oh, that is brilliant. <laughs> Oh, you could do, uh, 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 you know, the, uh. Hey, Gorbachev, <laughs> take down his effing wall. <laughs> you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Set on your head. <laughs> Midgets. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, rocks. Uh, I try to remember Reagan stuff now. Yes. Oh. I don't recall. Well, the bombing, but that's just a quickie, the bombing. Yes. Sorry. Um, Reagan had some good ones. The yeah. bombing starts in five minutes. Boy, that scared the hell out of the Ruskies. I think everything he did was calculated, though. Mm. Like, that was just for them to go, oh, my goodness, what did, what, comrade, did he just say? What, did he, what was the five-minute bombing one? It was, it, they were, he was, uh, it was testing before a mic. speech. He was testing a mic, and it was live. <laughs> And he said, the "Same thing uh, happened to Norton his first two years in comedy. He's testing Mike Lyon, and the bombing went on. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes." He said, uh, we've outlawed the, the Soviet Union. The bombing starts in five minutes. Well, how about McCain? Remember, he did the same thing. He's like, bomb, 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 Iran. Iran, bomb, bomb. What a hack did he really? that was. Oh, as a real a Annapolis like guy, cocky guy. Hey, I'm going to do a Beach Boys song. Yeah, bomb, here we bomb. go. Bomb, Iran. Yeah, he was testing the mic, and he did bomb, 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 Iran. He heard that on a morning zoo. That was a song that was a hit. Oh, that was huge oh, back on the morning God, radio really? thing. Oh, that was a yeah. hit. Why wouldn't That's it be? That's really hacky. Maybe we can find the, the song. He's right. He goes, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, it's yeah. the so hackiest. True. Kenny in New York. What's up, Kenny? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, I just wanted to, it's a little late now, but I was talking about uh, McCain's new career opening up for Jimmy, Jimmy Norton on November 14th and 15th. The oh wow! Good thing you got that plug in. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Jimmy? Jimmy, what's wrong? Is it really bad? He's doing. He's I helping feel you. Feel like I've been gut punched. <laughs>
but he's helping you out. With no, a plug. he got the dates nice. wrong. Oh, he Come did. Come on. Oh, God. It's around oh, there. It's, it's close. Your turn. Oh, don't turn on me. It's around there, isn't it? It's close enough. Oh, what right difference does it make if people show up? It's around there. He'll probably right. be sorry. there some of the other night. He's right. They'll just Who's... think Wilbur Theater, Boston, that's... sometime in November. Yeah. yeah. That's all. Hey, here's... In the fall. Uh, here's Beautiful. Bomb, here's Bomb Iran, by the way. Oh. Bomb, bomb, Told you. Bomb, you really did. Bomb, yeah. bomb, yeah. I know. Bomb, 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 it's relevant today, uh, Kitty. What McCain was singing. So basically, we're saying McCain listened to Morning Zoo. Yeah, yeah. Doubled over from that song. Thought it was great. And then started saying it yeah. to get his laugh. Oh. You guys are missing oh. the uh, the bombing. The bombing's going on. Oh. Now. And Why do I smell scorch somewhere in this thing? Bummer in. Still playing it now. Yeah. Yeah. That was Bob Iran. We're going to be playing that every hour on the hour, so stay tuned. It's good, but it's no back to Brooklyn, you know. Oh, oh sorry, Colin. Oh, that was actually Colin. a good tune. You made our oh. you made our list of our favorite novelty songs, though. Oh. <laughs> novelty songs. We're playing them today over at uh, Sirius. Yeah, we, oh. we could even play a couple after the break because Colin's yes. here. Oh. Hey, uh, so, something has to be acknowledged. Um, no, it doesn't. It's about you, Ant, so oh, of course it does. Okay, no, yeah, it no, does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> uh, people are amazed that you knew the Reagan quote off the top of your head. The oh, space shuttle Reagan well, quote. Well, you know what the best thing I knew it had about... something about kissing something yeah, up there. But... You know what the best thing about uh, uh, doing the Reagan impression is? I'll let you know a little secret. Mm-hmm. The fact that you can mumble and stutter until you remember. <laughs> you don't have... Because I didn't know it right off the bat. And I knew... You know, you know, yeah, so you could just kind of... You still pull it out of thin air. We, that was hey, amazing. thank that was you! No, no one has talked about Reagan in 10 years, and you had that. that was that, amazing. You had that. that, like that. Uh, I'll, be, I'll be an honest. I'll man up to it. That actually brought a tear to my eye when he, uh, he gave that little speech. It was uh, very touching. He was really good that's why at doing called, things like that's that. That's why they called him the great communicator. Yes. He knew how to, to talk. And yes. he also got things through, I think, a Democratic uh, Congress and Senate. Slip the surly bonds of her chest. <laughs> Didn't she? Nancy? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the other day, you mean? Touch the face of the dumpster. <laughs> Oh, she she banged into a dumpster the other day. No, no, no. they they like we seeing them no more. <laughs> uh, they're big fans of breast cancer, no more. Colin. They're huge fans. Oh, of these it. too, yeah. It's, <laughs> they're huge um, fans of it. Oh, them too. No, no, we we hate it, but we try to uh, bring attention. <laughs> there you go. Oh, for the good. That's right. For good. You raise awareness. Yes. By mocking. There's the, only uh, unfortunate victims of it. Laughter is the best medicine. <laughs> I, heard I heard that. that. Where? I heard that somewhere. Remember. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. The connection between doctor and medicine. South, oh, good South gravy. Park did a breast cancer thing on the last South Park. Good. Yeah, one of the female students uh, went to just educate about breast cancer, and uh, Eric Cartman thought it was funny that there were killer boobies out there. <laughs> so, oh the, wow! The uh, the whole episode revolved around uh, about a uh, breast cancer, pretty much. Look what it says. It was right before a rich voice set. Ah, well, that was in reference to the, the bombing starts in five minutes. Oh, I thought it was the uh, like. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Comedy Central was before it's not South right Park. Time or somehow just managed to work his half hour. The in bombing there. starts right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> to the stage, Rich Voss. <laughs> <laughs> you think Matt and Trey are just trying to get fired by at this point? Seems like it. You think they're like, oh my no, god, they're, we they're, have another five years in this contract. They're we untouchable now. They're yeah, untouchable they until get, uh, that, uh, ch- uh, what, uh, chocolate news or whatever the hell. Uh, uh, the right. Yeah, where, uh, you know, uh, where black people. Three, three, three out of four where stars. black people do uh, did, uh, racial girl? comedy uh, that white Linda, people can't do. Did and, you guys see it? Linda Stassi gave it no. three out of four stars. She was saying how smart it is if you miss Chappelle. I don't know. I haven't seen the book. I love Linda. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> Every time I read her, I think of Norton and I laugh to myself. The dead hand. How mad. What dead hand? Because she, she does a pose where she's got her ha- head on her hand, like she's leaning on her hand, and Jimmy insists her hand just looks dead. It's a severed in the cadaver hand that she's leaning her ugly face on. She, and you can tell that from a half inch by half inch black and white in a in a newspaper. But the, the way she describes always with her friends, yeah, yes. gut busting on the. Couch. Oh, could you imagine the I just fun? Love, I just imagine the appetizer treats they must have oh, at this event. I want to be there just to too. have the yeah. fun that they must be having. Bunch of pigs swapping <laughs> jokes. She's revol- and She's a, she's just horrible. 
She's a horrible critic. Mm. Her opinion <laughs> stinks. Why? She doubles over with laughter. Yeah, yeah. she yeah, strapped in the seatbelt one time. We <laughs> yeah. get it. All black comedies are smart. We get it. You she guilty goes upper side strapping, bitch. She's <laughs> strapping the seatbelt. Oh, yeah, she did say that. Good thing I almost fell off the couch. I, it's just, she's mm. just awful. Yeah. She drinking? But that's what's great about her. She, uh, yeah, in the of middle course. of like, New York City. You think that show's going to be good, though? Yeah, I do. Um, no. Of course I honest, not. honestly, I'm telling you, David yeah. Allen Greer has chops like nobody else. <laughs> he can do characters. I swear to God. Well, what, are I you sound kidding? Like you phone? sound like you're yeah. um, being you're like, sarcastic David without Allen the Greer sarcasm. Has chops like nobody yeah. else. Hey guys, give it a chance. I like to spit on you from here. <laughs> I have no interest in ever talking to that guy. <laughs> Why? He's all right. No. Mark my words. Don't that show's going to be funny. You don't like him, or he... it, it does nothing for me. I'm He's going on record. Well, I'm not a big mm. fan of him. But his characters. Yeah. Are great. Mark my words. Oh. I'm going on record. Like what? Like who? Like whatever the show is, I guarantee it's going to be good. I bet they do a bit where they go uh, back to slavery days, but they're still all jivey and hip hoppy and, and really showing uh, Whitey what it is. That's cutting edge, Ann. Is that one of the bits? No, but I would just assume that happens. Well, you know what it's happens like when you assume. Thing. What? You, it's the best medicine? No. <laughs> wait, wait, how did that go? It's like, I'm, I'm, we make an asset of us. You know. uh, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll fix it in post. Hey, Carmen <laughs> gave a, a breast cancer awareness speech full of puns. It was great. Can we try to oh, find that? Bobby D and Brockton. And Chocolate News was on last night? Chocolate News. Was this person is saying it sucked. Hated it. Yeah. Was it on Chocolate News last night? Was it David Duke? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. it, I'm sure it was. Uh, I didn't watch it, but uh, I'm sure it was on already. Yeah. No uh, one watched we're 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 in radio. Well, let's be honest. We do as much we... as I love South Park, without hearing this bit, as none of us have seen Chocolate, I get making breast cancer is not edgy either. Go on, let's well, play it. Okay, All right, we got to find it still, Colin. Jesus, find it. Stop that's giving away truth. our tricks. Right, that's not half, that. what half tricks? of mine and Jimmy's repertoire. Exactly. <laughs> no, but I'm saying the other that half is doing retards. <laughs> <laughs> Just say no one's disagreeing with you. In 1983 shoes. Hey. Oh God. <laughs> wow. The three black stripes down the side. Yeah. Coming back, right? Shell tops have been, made two comebacks since then, by the way. What are those? None of them are now, unfortunately, but <laughs> 1999. Adidas. Adidas? Yeah. It's all Run DMC shoes. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming back. Sure they are. Uh, quick break. They Colin Quinn a... at Caroline's this weekend. Two on two. Seven forty-one hundred. 100. <laughs> Look at the clock. Someone moved it. I swear to God, I thought we had another hour. That usually means we had a good show. That, uh... When it flies by like that. Did Doc set the clocks? Because uh, then I'm late for school. <laughs> Let's get on my skateboard. Opie and Anthony. Hey, uh, down and dirty tonight. HBO Midnight, Jimmy. I forgot about that. How are you forgetting about Jimmy. your own show? Because my, my, I found out yesterday that my book is available now on Amazon pre-sale. For, it's actually cheaper on Amazon. It's called I Hit Your Guts, and I attack a lot of people in this book. Like who? Can you throw out some names there? Just they Hillary get... Clinton, mm-hmm. uh, Al Sharpton. Al Roker. Al Roker gets brutalized. Good, good. Uh, Jesse Jackson, uh, Heather Mills. In the book, in the book. Yeah, I attack a lot of people. It felt very good. Steve Martin. Um, so whatever, you know, I hope people dig it. Um, down and Dirty Tonight, I forgot about that. Yeah, on HBO. Midnight, Dummy let's Act. go. It's let's either Bill Burr or Patrice's it. episode, by the way. I don't remember which one it is. Either, either one. Yeah, yeah. You're going to do great. Uh, Amy, dumb girl, Connecticut, what's up? Hey, guys, what's up? Hey. What's up, Amy? Uh, Jimmy, assume me and make an ass out of you and me. Wait. Oh, I'm not, oh hold on, hold on. No, I think that's wrong. Because when I said, like, something happens when you assume, you know what happens when you assume... Make an ass out of you and me. It doesn't make sense. Why would what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> like how it's spelled. No, 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 no. Nah, no. no, it was some of the odd couple. It was like when you assume, it's like you, you're making like a, me as an ass or something. Yeah. Yeah, an ass out of you and me. I th- no, no, no. There's no, there's no why in it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. No, you're saying uh, you and me, and it's like there's too many letters. A S S U M E. Right, exactly. That's what exactly you, you're saying. Like, there's, there's an ass, and then there's two other, yeah. out of you and me. It's too many letters. When you, know, you know, where I learned that my freshman year of high school and my all girl Catholic girl school. But I'm not, huh. wait, 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 what, what is she talking about? When you really assume, like, what happens to you? I, I don't get it. Is you, what it yeah, is. Yeah. What happens, Amy, when you assume something? When you assume you make an ass out of yourself. No. See, that's exactly. It's too. Wait, you're making an ass out of yourself. 
Wait, wait, I'm really confused. Out of the person you're talking to and yourself. Right, right. We certainly know what that feels like. So, so an assumption is, like, when you make assumptions, you're making, like, what do you mean? I don't you know, understand I, what you're saying at all. You're wrong. I'm wrong? Yeah. Wait, what What did you say originally? I said oh, when you assume, you, assume. you assume. make an ass out of you and me. But why would that make an ass? You're just as making an assumption. Yeah. I don't understand why you're... You're making an ass out of you and me. Like, what's wrong with assuming? Yeah. Why would it make an ass out of me? I don't think there's anything wrong, but I heard you say, you know, you make right. an ass out of somebody, so I just wanted to explain what people say. But you if it makes that. an ass out of me and you, I don't get it. I don't know. That's just what people if say. If you assume it makes an ass out of me and you? Pretty much. That's what it means. <laughs> but how does that work out phonetically? I have Die. no idea. So, wait, so who's making it? Who's making an ass out of themselves? Who's the I'm, ass? I'm confused. Yeah. Amy? The ass is the person who's assuming. Oh, not... Okay. So I, I would have thought it was the person giving the 40-minute explanation for what was uh, done as a goof an hour ago. But you're, you're saying that it's like uh, both parties are being made asses out of? I'm sorry? Yes. You you're saying oh, both parties are being made asses statement. out of? I didn't hear you. Go through that again, please, the explanation. Yeah. When you assume, mm -hmm. we got that. You make an ass, yeah, out of you and me. Okay, assume starts with ass, so that makes sense. But what's the U for? Yeah, there's the, no Y in that. There's a yeah, or an O. The letter U. Are you driving right now? Yeah. Help your rear end a gas truck. <laughs> oh. Do you listen to the show? I'm trying to help you out, man. I know, I know. I just didn't get it. I I think you're you're messing with me. No, I'm, I was just like helping you because you didn't know. Like you said, I, I make an ass out of. Something. You should die like Olivier's brother in the marathon, man. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Amy, congratulations on being a uh, homecoming queen. By the way, <laughs> I'm glad I uh, have the opportunity to congratulate you. That's that's quite an accomplishment for someone like yourself. <laughs> I guess they had that at my school. Yeah. And oh, let us have it. Tonight, by the way, is myself, it's Joe DeRosa, Russ Maniv, and uh, Ari Shafir, and of course, Patrice O'Neill. Tonight's Patrice's episode. You got okay. Russ on the show, too? I mean, yes. Oh, well, Anthony. God, that's awesome. Yes? I wanted to tell you, when I lived by myself in the apartment, I left the TV on also because I didn't want it to be quiet. <laughs> oh, how about God that? bless you, dear. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, Amy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Uh, let's say how to Grant in Pennsylvania. I, I hate the fact that she's now thinks she had a great call. That's the beauty of her. She'll <laughs> call again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Grant. Hello, fair enough. Joe. Fair enough. Hey. Grant. Grant. Hello. Yeah. Not Graham, like Graham crackers. Oh, oh Graham. What's up, Graham? Hey. Apostrophe. What's going crackers? on? What's up? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, hey. Amy's Osama. got that saying right. What saying? The saying a, a spoon makes an ass out of you and me. I don't get it. Oh, no. She's got cause cause you got A S S and then you know how people have on their vanity place where they can't spell out the whole word? Right. Right. Well yeah. so text yeah. message. So so makes an ass out of you and me. But there's but, no and in there though, it's too long. And, and you spell you Y O U. Nah, instead of and you just say M E. But see me is too short. What do you mean? You make an ass out of U M E. UME. So U -M -E. U -M -E is, what is UME? Yeah, That's not a word. It doesn't make sense. What does is, what is UME spell? It doesn't spell anything, but it sounds kind of like and. Instead of, you know, how some people. All right, start. All right, Graham. The whole word. Graham, start over. All right. When you assume you make an ass out of UME. Well, where's out of in the word assume? Yeah, it makes, he's, he's made, this makes no sense. Yeah. I don't get Instead it. Instead of saying you. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. I don't know. That that that's a saying, though. That's a saying. Uh, it might not be. It might might make a whole lot of sense, but what? that's a little saying. Sorry. So if you make an assumption, if they say, if you assume, you're basically like all parties involved are being asses. Yeah. How does that make a license plate, vanity plate? Huh. Well, now nah, what I'm saying is just how they shorten things on a vanity plate. I've never seen where, that. Like, ever. Put, vanity plate. You never saw a vanity plate that said assume. <laughs> Why do we even? Why do we even try no, like, doing like, smart radio? Like instead of saying instead of saying eight, eight, A T E, somebody will put just the, the number eight. 
Well, maybe yeah, well, they so have to have a certain amount of numbers on the license plates. Wait a minute. When I see ATE, that's that means eight? ATE. Meaning the number eight? No, it's E-I-G-H-T, dude. What are you talking about? All right. Cool. <laughs> no, it's the letter eight. Let's say hi to Malik. Well, Graham, apostrophe. I was so happy you messed that up. Yeah. Malik in New York. Still, It still had some yeah. Yeah, juice well, to I, it. I, I laughed. I didn't catch it. Malik, go ahead. Yes, yes sir. Sorry. Yeah, what's good, fellas? Hey. Hey, yo, listen. Oh, how are you going to find bobblehead cartoon South Park funny, but not David Allen Greer, and he gave you characters on living color like the, the two gay guys he did with Tommy Davidson, Mr. McAtee? Next you're going to be telling me Colin was funny and who's the man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Colin defended was, the guy. Was, he says he does great characters. That was uncalled for, sorry. Yeah. I did a fine performance as Frankie Flannery and Who's the Man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Malik. You know what? I don't I, think David Allen Greer was the funny one in. Uh, Are you a big fan color. of David Allen? It was him and Damon, not Tommy Wayne. It's yeah. Davidson, by the way. Are you, yeah. Are you a fan? Very of, funny. No, I, I was never a fan. I didn't think he was like the, the real standout on uh, um, Living Color. My cousin's uh, skating. In living Color. Yeah, I, that's yeah. your cousin? Yeah, Sarah Hughes. Yeah. That's your cousin? Yep. We've got a lot of talent in my family. Why, why, why is she skating today? I don't know. I'll have to ask her at the... Uh, oh, no, he comes, I think they just oh, no, the here comes Jill with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just opened the rink or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at that. They did. Uh, here's the breast cancer thing from South Park. Down in uh, Rock Fellow Solace. students, <laughs> October is Awareness Month for one of the leading causes of death in women, a terrible disease that takes the lives of American women every day. I'm talking, of course, about breast cancer. <laughs> An estimated one in six women will deal with cancer in their lifetime, and breast cancer is the most common... <laughs> she, she said it again. <laughs> Okay. Is there a problem? Because breast cancer isn't funny. Breast cancer is killing people. Mr. Garrison, do we really need all this potty talk in the classroom? Eric, for the love of Jesus. This is a serious issue, Eric. What you're doing is very offensive. Me? You're the one talking about killer titties. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Wendy says boobs can kill people. Good. Gonna get you. Gonna get you, Wendy. I don't want to get killed by boobs. Will somebody do something? Every week he gets worse and nobody does anything. Eric, stop being offensive. I'm just trying to engage Wendy in a constructive dialogue about breast cancer awareness, Mr. Garrison. No, you aren't! Wendy, you need to calm down. You're going to get your boobs all angry and they're going to start killing everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm on fire today! <laughs> hey, we need that clip. I'm on fire today. Let's get that in the, uh, the old replay. <laughs> uh, wow, who, who left uh, the word in? Who was that? Iraq? Iraq. We can't do that one? No, uh, maybe, maybe uh, sometimes you can. I think uh, maybe. Mm. Iraq, did you play that oh, first? Oh, no. did that might make? Play the right one? Yeah, I played the, the right, right one. one. Ooh, Iraq, Ooh. Iraq. challenging Whoa. observation, Randall. Hey, good, good for you, Iraq. Good for you. Don't take that for nobody. Wait, let me see. Maybe going to stand for that one. You going to take that? Oh, I didn't play the right one. Oh, oh. Fuck, man, I had a, I had a long right. night. He's tired. Where was the, uh, uh, where was the, uh, was it near the end? I don't remember. That's fine. Yeah. We get it. We get it? Uh, yeah. We get it. I just we gotta time. leave soon. We gotta leave right now. That's what we Now. 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 All right, Colin. Now. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Will you be joining us, Colin? Uh, hey, I hope when Colin leaves. Like I a, will stay, like but not Sinatra because I want to. Oh, because show I always something. want to leave. It's like the guy, like, All right, I'm staying. Dean Martin. Always had to leave. Well, you guys do five hours Sorry, of radio. Sorry, Johnny, you know, I gotta go. Yeah. It's like, what, what, where are you going? Yeah, because guess what? For the, all of, I'll speak for every comedian except for you guys. Mm -hmm. All of us resent doing the other show. It's five hours of radio for no money, so everybody gets a little titty. I understand. It. Yeah, but you get the I plugs understand. In. You got a few more people in the seats. I get it. Over on the, uh, but we do get aggravated by it. Serious yeah. yeah. XM side, we got Jason Ritter coming in at nine forty-five. Mm. You want five bucks? And uh, yeah, cost you five bucks. Yeah, for five bucks hours. would help. Collins right. and Caroline. Five bucks would help. <laughs> and uh, Down and Dirty Tonight at Midnight. And uh, Amazon.com for my book, uh, Presale. Hey, it's Jim, like could you be a little cheaper. less enthusiastic? Ha! <laughs> oh, come on, Colin. Downsell. I know, but I was being ironic. You assumed. You oh, I mean, but 
Yeah. I like to wrap it all up. How fantastic <laughs> is it? We were getting legitimate explanations. Thank you guys very much. Yes. 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 Great. Can I crowd. say, though, for years, I didn't understand that it was you make an ass out of you and me. I thought it was you make, a, make an ass out of you and me. Yeah. So I actually did get help. No, he's Police. completely wrong. Nobody says you and me. You make oh. an ass out of you and me. No, you and me. Oh, you I'm, right was I right? Time, yes. All right. I thought so. But I thought when you asked that girl to back into a gas truck, you don't realize that would explode and kill her. You know what? You're absolutely right. I should have said milk truck. Would have kept it a little more fun. That she gets milk all over her. Oh my God! What am I? A piece of cereal? <laughs> You're right. My my ride. My birthday. Milk truck. Hey, uh, for the folks in the Boston <laughs> area too, uh, catch a rising star. Patrice O'Neill's uh, there. Providence actually. Yes. Yeah, so you stay home and watch Down and Dirty. You can see him tonight for free. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. That's not nice, Jimmy. Patrice O'Neill at uh, Catch a Rising Star in Providence as well. All right, guys, have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Ah, the show continues. Colin Quinn made the walkover. Look at that. Thank you, Colin. I made the walkover last time, too. So it's not good. the time before that, Colin. You're right. And we, You're right. And we hold a grudge. Oh. You guys are unbelievable. I walked in here and forgot it was Friday until I saw, like, the multitudes. What do you think I'm yelling TGI Friday people. for? Oh. <laughs> And I Friday, saw the people. Fridays used to be the the day where we would sneak out early because it's Friday. And we figured, yeah. Ah, we gave them enough radio for the week. Blah blah blah. But now we can't. can't Those days are long down. over. Yeah, hey, yeah. Now we have to stay all the way to eleven. Thanks. Where's my five dollars? Oh, you want the five dollars still? He told me he's gonna give me five dollars. Uh, after the show, if I gave it to you now, you could leave, and then I'd be uh, out <laughs> five bucks. He's got a good point. <laughs> yeah, see, he learned that in Mastic. <laughs> I just like when with Colin the references cigarettes? Long Island. With the engines? Uh, what, what Long Island town you want to reference right now, and why? Mm. Bellport, for no reason. Bellport, Bell, for no Bellport. reason. <laughs> Con- confused with Belmore. He just mm. makes it El- so... Elmont. Yeah. Spionk. 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 That's, that's one of those obscure Long Island towns. Quag. I only learned about when I started doing radio for BAB. This is Centerport. Aquabog. Hey! Oh, it's from Centerport. But well, I'm not I a clamor. You. But I told you, I, I, I shot uh, Crocodile Dundee 2 in Centerport. Oh. They had a big mansion there. I had one line in Crocodile Dundee 2. I'll tell you that story, of course, about the uh, how I we, how I went to them. I had one line. It's like almost a glorified extra. And I rewrote the whole script. with me as the co-lead with Paul Hogan handed it to them. Did you really? <laughs> Saying, look, this is what really needs to be done. They should have listened to you, though. Did they find it funny? <laughs> Luckily, they were Australian. You know, they said they didn't fire me and ban me from my yeah, business. But, I'm sure they thought it was But it, didn't, it didn't work out the way they wanted. No, they probably would have been better off with me as the guide that I was in my version that drove, that rode Paul Hogan around. <laughs> that, that's funny. Man. I bet my version was horrible. I wish I had a copy of it. Hey, uh, Anthony was talking about a show called Life on Mars. Yes. For the for the newbies uh, listening in, it's basically a show where a cop uh, a cop it, so. uh, gets into a little uh, accident there. He gets hit by a car and he goes from 2008 to 1973. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's still a cop because the the cops, I guess, assume that he's uh, from another precinct. Right, transferred in. Right, and um, you know he's got to deal with trying to figure out where he is and why. Why he's back in 1973? Mm-hmm. He's got to get back to his uh, chick back in 2008 because I believe she was uh, ready to be murdered if not already murdered at the time that that happened. Lisa Bonet. Yes, Lisa Bonet. Uh, and um, he's got to work with these cops from 1973 New York City, which was, you know, pretty dirty and gruff and... Uh, Use the word gritty. You know, gritty, it gritty, gritty. Good, 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 gritty. Good, good. Uh, and um, uh, that's, that's what the show is, is pretty much based on. Uh, the thing that bugs me about it, I really want to like the show because I like any kind of time travel mm-hmm. type shows, movies, whatever. Uh, I find them intriguing. I think there's a lot of material there you could do. But they have to throw in these fucking references to the early 70s in a way no one would. No one walked around then and talked like this and referenced the time you're in constantly. Right. They do that because they assume, and and I I bet correctly, that the the viewers of regular network television, because it's on ABC, are idiots, complete morons. So they just keep spoon feeding them the fact that remember now, remember people, yeah. he's from 2008, but he's back in '73. So we'll keep throwing these '73 references at you to, to remind, remind you. you. I don't need to be reminded. And I, I know what the show's about. I get the plot. Just fucking do the show. 
keep it. I think a show like this would be great on HBO. I mean, the characters, Michael Imperioli mm -hmm. is uh, uh, really good at, at his character. He's greasy haired, got one of those good 70s stash and sideburns going. You know what's so funny? He's describing himself right now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I got the 70s stash and the greasy uh, hair. I do need a haircut. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's tough. To, it's tough to shower before you come in. He I looks mean, like Michael Imperioli in the seventies. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anthony it's me. looks like every seventies cop and every seventies junkie. Oh, what a what a treat that would be! Just to bust some head, on that show. shake oh, downs. I, know. I feel the same. Maybe way. I could do that. Yeah. Wouldn't be great. I took the police test. I got a ninety six. They never called me. Oh, it wasn't good. Really? I had a Port Authority police. Test. It wasn't good you enough. I apparently not. You, didn't know. Uh, you know, you know point. who got a lower grade and got in? Mm -hmm. Who? I bet. Big A. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. the, mm. the blacks. Imagine if Big A was a no. cop. Big N. <laughs> <laughs> you know how the Big world N. works. You know Big how the N. world works, Colin. No, I think it was also something that happened in between, too, where it was like... Uh -oh, it was a drug bust. In those days, they changed... Yeah, I think they, they, there was some... Paperwork. Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> so, uh, so we, yeah. got this, we, we got the 70s uh, references from Life on oh, Mars. Now, you tell me if this is fucking overkill. They've done two episodes. I, I, That's it. Two episodes. And there are how many references? We got about nine or ten. Nine fucking references in two episodes. Well, let's hear them first. Maybe yeah. one reference per episode that isn't a ham-handed, hey, look at my mood ring <laughs> kind of a, a fucking thing, you know? Let's just get... I, I still uh, I'm holding out that it's uh, done in tongue-in-cheek. It isn't. It isn't. If it was, I might be able to appreciate right. that a little more, but it's right, here's not. The, here's the first one. This, this is not my car. So you ain't Sam Tyler? I, I am. I, it, 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 this is not my car. I, I was driving a, a Jeep. You were driving a military vehicle? Mm. I need my cell. You need to sell what? No. I just... Well, that first one's... I saw that episode. That yeah. was it when he first arrived. Right, yeah. right. And that's, that's a, a blatant ripoff of Back to the Future, where uh, Marty McFly goes into the diner, and they say he's wearing a life preserver because he's wearing a down coat, and he uh, says he wants a Pepsi free, and uh, the guy goes, no, you've got to pay for it. He goes, <laughs> all right, well, then give me a tab. He goes, you can't have a tab. You've got to buy some. See, it, that's kind of that same play on, on word thing. Only that one was actually clever. Right. It was all connected. <laughs> but the 70s reference wasn't like... That no, no, that, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, that wasn't yeah, that bad. Was, we're, yeah, we're, but, we're, we're kind of gliding well, no, into it here. Don't let him off the hook because no. he's jumping to the mic to try to defend uh, why he. Yes, sir. Sam brought, up, Sam brought up a great point that nobody would say, I need my Jeep. They would say, like, I need my car. I need my like, car. Where's my car? I know you might say, say I don't my cell. Yeah, I would say that. Strange, yeah. He wouldn't just say it to a stranger. Like, and no one would say a military vehicle in 1973 if you said Jeep. Here's the phony part is that the responses were too. Obvious, like his him saying who's I on my second, Jeep. yeah, who's on was, first? You did a military vehicle, like he would just say, "What do you mean a Jeep?" A Jeep. Yeah. The most unrealistic part of the whole thing was when he said Sam brought up a good point, and we all listened with <laughs> yeah. bated breath. Or you know, and my cell, Travis. I need my cell. Gotta sell what? Oh, we get sell? it. Sell? You're gonna you don't sell? Know what a cell what? phone no. is. We know. Cell phone. Why don't you sell your phone? Don't you, don't you have money for heroin, which is big these days? <laughs> That's a <not> the Dallas. <laughs> yes. Dallas, Texas. <laughs> what do you need money for? The Godfather Two, which is coming out next year. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> Cunt face fucks. <laughs> I uh. All right. Uh, not that was not that bad. Yeah. I'll, I'll even agree. That wasn't right. that bad. I'm sitting I, there, I saw but I was going right like, when he landed, eh, but yeah, it, was yeah. it was a little pushy. Let's go with the next one. This is my office. No, wait, right there. Bullshit. <laughs> right here. <laughs> this is my desk. Hey, would you rather live in 2008? Hold on. I want you to see these people arguing. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> no. That shirt. If you're watching this, it wants wait. me to go back to like 1940. <laughs> it's like, Colin, it's uh, Maury Povich, obviously. What, 1840. What, what, what Long Island town do you think I swear from? to God, Maury. They're probably from the Danch, I would think. <laughs> the Danch. <laughs> the Danch. I swear the to God, Danch, Maury. The Danch, motherfucker. <laughs> no, the Danch. Uh, yeah. Bentwood. I'm saying either, it could be Bent Brentwood or it mm -hmm. could be, uh, you know, Newcastle, oh. someplace like Wheatley that. Wheatley Heights. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like a nice place? Ooh, watch it. I'm going to go with Look the wine Maury. dance. All right. The let's, dance. let's get back to this. All right. All right, go ahead. This is my desk. Here. So where's my desk? Huh? Where's my desk? Chair. My computer. Your computer? 
Like how? 2001, a space odyssey? That's Looks like we got us a regular space. Say, say. I thought that was nicely, say. subtly laced in. <laughs> subtly <laughs> laced in. It was just like Norton's joke about Godfather 2. <laughs> it's the exact same thing. Yeah. The, the, it's the same thing. The problem is there's shitty writing in the responses. It's yes. terrible. Oh, come yes. on. Yes. Yeah, yes, gonna, yes, can I just yes. Say one thing? Yes. The, the acting is we just listen. We just listen to it, the dialogue, and then this genius goes, the problem is the shitty writing and the responses. Right, that's no, what no, we hear mocking. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the shitty writing in the responses. It's oh, the sound okay. quality. Uh, hold, hold on, somebody needs to needs to put the take the cotton out of their ears and put it in their mouth. Oh. <laughs> because I was saying the responses, not necessarily. He's not selling Come on. Don't let him off the hook on this one, I beg of you. I'm right. Yeah. Uh -oh. The shitty writing in the responses is terrible. It's the obviousness yeah, of the yeah. responses, it, which are not so is. 70s. It's just, you need a Jeep? It, it, it's yeah, terrible. it's it, 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 it's pushing, and, and they're so noticeable yeah. and so distracting to watching the show. But they're, I was expecting it to be things that only reference the 70s. That's just fucking terrible writing. Mm -hmm. Well, they'll, they'll keep right. going. All right, we're getting, All right, we're getting, getting there. Going. We're getting like Hal? Like Hal, which came out a few years In 2001, yeah. no. A Space Odyssey? Who the fuck talks like that? No just one. Just like the Godfather joke, though. That's exactly what they do. It really is. Oh. Oh. Annie, get your talk of the grieving parents, get on. We found a Missy Twirl. A, t a twirl? A girl. A broad, a chick, a dame, a lass. Of course. Well, that wasn't that well, bad. I, what wow. clip? Why don't you get the opening music? <laughs> All right. The fuck did you guys get? We're, Who the hell said twirl? We're almost four. Yeah, a twirl. That, that's we're almost why four I put clips in, in and, and still not really proven Ant's point. No, no, it's it, no, it's worry, annoying. It's because he, I know he it had gets to annoying. explain other 70s references to ladies. Chick, a dame? A that's chick, like 40s. Lass. Nothing right. beats a dame, a dame, a dame. <laughs> one clip. <laughs> All right, well, Don't worry. so we'll far do. the machinist is 0 for 3. You're looking more and more like Christian Bell, is what he's I'm saying. I'm not gaining or losing. So I'm Batman! That's a good job, Christian. Lab lifted a few prints off a shoe, they've been sent downtown. You should hear back in a couple of weeks or so if there's a match. A couple of weeks? Yeah, it's amazing what they can do these days. See, it, uh, that I don't buy. That's a ham-handed fucking bullshit way of doing that. It's amazing what they could do these days. A couple, couple of weeks? Yeah. It's a, what, no. The old days, it took a couple of years? This is just a... Re these are reminders that, that when you hear a line like that, you go, Oh, right. They're in 73. It's the, annoying. The way that would have been okay is if he, if he was like a couple of weeks and the other guy was like, yeah. Yeah. And, or just didn't, it didn't... They acknowledge... Every little right. thing that he is a little confused about. It's amazing about. what they do here in 1973, yeah. That's as opposed to 2008, let's well, say. They immediately pick up on every fucking thing yes. that they're supposed to pick Thank up on. Thank you, Jim. That's exactly what I meant. Even stuff that isn't uh, the Jeep. A, G a military vehicle? Military vehicle? Mm. Why, that's impossible. Yeah, but here's yeah, a yeah. string of Palapanese. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Fabersham. Fucking. Well, I, think, I think you guys are missing the big points. I'd what? Like to, I'd like to read you something. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Uh, the economy is in a crisis. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. War is destroying us. And there is <laughs> discord among the races. Mm -hmm. That was written in 1871 <laughs> in Austria. Wow. Isn't that amazing? 1871 Nothing in Austria. Changes, right? Well, thank God someone came along and fixed that. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Go to the clip. That's what I like to say. All right, here's the next clip. Dow's down 200, but rallying back. Yeah. Now we're rallying. Fuck the Dow's Dow's down 200. Let me tell you guys something. Well, that is said. In Roman times, they had a stock market. How you doing, my friend? What part of my subconscious do you hail from? Poughkeepsie. What's your poison? Just give me a Diet Coke. Diet Coke? Uh, scotch. Make it a double, will you? Diet Coke. Now that would be something, huh? <laughs> See? What, what, what? Diet Coke? Yeah, give me a scotch. All right. Oh. Diet Coke, now that would be something. You you must be from the future. This show fucking sucks. <laughs> Why'd you sit through this? Because I told you I, I want agree. to I like the first episode. The, the, I want to like it. I want to like the premise. I like the idea of somebody being knocked back in time 35 years 
and having to like deal with shit so like that. I but, agree. But Here's not that, that stupid. You're just waiting for the next fucking... Back to the Future movie. Yes. Let's That's do some scene is. study. You mm-hmm. say. Uh, all right, I, I'll say. What do you want? You do diet coke. All right. Uh, what do you want? Uh, diet coke. Come on. What do you want? Diet That's coke. how that happened. <laughs> a Coke that is not as many calories? They've not invented that. That'll they? be the day. You know who needs to be on the show? Diet Coke, Louis Beange. Yeah. He died of AIDS. Yeah. The Diet Chocolate? <laughs> 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 Don't make us play the spot so well, people get it. Jesus. God damn, C- is that awful. CW from Scranton. I, I, like, the seven, uh, like the 70s car, sideburns, clothes. Don't remind you... Like the, that exactly the outfits. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole you, they've well, done a great TV, job. About the outfits? They've done a good job with the cars. Although the cars are a little too well kept. Like as I'm watching, I'm these are muscle cars driving, just driving down the road, and they're, they're like out of the fucking uh, what's that museum out in L.A.? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like they, they came right out of a museum because well, they got them from collectors. And the they, L.A. They promised the collectors, look, we won't fuck up your vintage right. car. Yeah, they're just beautiful cars rolling down the point, street. Don't rust it be, out. Yeah, but they can't be messing up the guy's yeah. car. Can yeah. they make fucking fake ones? Yeah, just fucking it's, it's La La Land. How do you Please. make a fake one? No, it's it's too, it's, it's, too, it's very cool. expensive. <laughs> so they these, just there's these slow moving scenes where he's looking around yeah. and it's just showing you everything that's in the 70s. Everyone has an afro. Everyone's yeah. wearing belts. We'd like you to show yeah, us everything that's in the 40s. Giving peace signs outside of Warsaw. <laughs> oh, 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 poor skinny. Oh, oh, poor slender boy. Oh, we'd like you to show us barracks four. Oh, no. Oh well. All right. Which so box? Was, which box car do you take home? Oh, oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Uncalled for. Uncle it really oh. is. Can't gain weight. You want to do another one here or what? Of yeah, course, I, I want to hear these. them all. That really annoyed me. Yeah. Well, wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be what something? What the fucking bartender <laughs> would say that to an asshole, what asshole who ordered a drink that doesn't exist? Yeah. Hey, give me a fucking pack of goose milk. Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be the what day? Want, asshole, what do you want? Got some the goose only realistic milk. thing was that Kipsy really is a shithole, and even yes, then it was. Okay, maybe. St- Steve in Jersey has some advice for you, Aunt. Steve? Steve? Hey, uh, and I would say watch the BBC version. Just stop watching The American right now. Of course. It sucks. But I don't know anything about fucking uh, uh, the, the 70s, 70s in, in England. England. Exactly. What the fuck am I going to sit there and watch the mods fight with the fucking... Uh, rockers? Rockers? On, Thank you. So you know a little something. No, that's all I know. You're on scooters. I bet the English version's good, man. I bet Just they like only the play office. who you music. You office in England? I don't know English offices. That show is fucking hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. So your face? Maybe, Genius. Come on, give it a try. It sounds like genius. I What's that? The American one's better. Corral's fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking well, forty-one. But he's version. right about life. <laughs> <laughs> he's right about life on Mars. I bet the English version is good. We should. Yeah, right. but I don't know the references. Well, let's have a try. try. Maybe that. Maybe that's good because then it wouldn't annoy me. You see what right. happens when you do know the references? You want to bite the TV. <laughs> You're right. We get, we get it. Coke, die, a diet coke. Da! Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> no, it wouldn't be. What do you want it in a can? Yeah, <laughs> or in your can. Oh, that's no sm- oh, oh, I love oh, this oh, oh. new Holly song, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be. <laughs> Let's do another one here. And that's no small thing, considering they were tucked snug behind bulletproof glass with no witnesses, no sign of forced entry. Yeah, that's uh, that's very cool. Hey, listen, any chance I'm going to get sprung anytime soon? No laughing is on tonight. And <laughs> I got it bad for that Goldie Hawn. Oh, Look, see, yeah, all right, God. see, well, I'm getting are grunts not- from the fucking audience. See- that, now that, that anytime I'm getting sprung suit, that laughing's great. But I really got in for that Goldie Hawn. Uh, well, and even the way he says it, it's not even a New York accent. When he goes, no, like, yeah, Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. This they show, fucking bad for that Jessica Hawn. Sucks. <laughs> sucks my fucking unshaven pubic region, <laughs> dick. I didn't think you would need to shave. You're very hairless. I am, but I do shave my fucking bigger than you think it would be cock. There is. is <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just what, what what I'm giving you here is the shit part of this show. There, there's other parts where I really go like, God, there's potential here for something. Maybe when Kaitel throw talks. that fucking in, dude. The acting is when awful. When Kaitel is sitting there and he pulls out this wad of money that the guy, this guy didn't even steal. He's just saying, well, he, this was found on you. And the guy goes, no, it's not. Mm. He goes, it would be wet l- like me because, you know, they pulled him out of the river. So Kaitel just pours a pitcher of water on the money, pours the rest of it over the guy's head, 
and then takes the fucking money and starts smacking him in the face with the money. That's pretty that good. That shit's great old New York old police fucking roust the motherfucker kind of shit. That I like. I don't like this fucking, I really got it in for that Goldie oh, hand. Thanks, the sentence should have stopped after, am I getting sprung? Right, soon. that's it. Am I getting sprung soon? He wouldn't be talking about what TV show he wants to catch. Who the hell would say yeah. sprung? No one. Well, that's you. What is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what Colin. is that, Colin? Oh, Colin honey. came from outer space what and brought that? some type of mysterious <laughs> beverage. What are you drinking? Is that gasoline? <laughs> <laughs> Colin, uh, for your listeners at, at home, he's drinking something called Diet Coke. <laughs> Did you bring that from home? After? What is this, Arch and Crafts? That'll be the day. <laughs> wonder what Mayor LaGuardia would think of this one. <laughs> right? Fucking assholes in Hollywood. Fucking just die uh, on fire. Just put the fucking billboard. Put, put a fucking thing on the side where it usually has the network thing. It's 1973 on this show. <laughs> Just that would let us know. You don't have to uh, ham hand the fucking references. Yeah, fucking. God. What do we got? Oh, Another one out of Peter in Massachusetts. Hey, Peter, there, Pete. welcome aboard, Pete. Yeah, what well, wrong with the cop shows we got? <laughs> they, they watch mm. pretty good. NYPD Blue. What's some of those other shows? Hill Street Blue. CSI, CSI Miami. CSI New York. Barney Miller. Special <laughs> victim. <laughs> Barney Miller. Barney Miller. Miller. <laughs> Can I tell you a very funny line that Colin would do, and you don't do it anymore, which annoys me, is when you talk about your fucking, how you're going to be with a big mystery solver and your own cop show, and you're going to be on CSI Akron. He would comment, but he's oh, eating. He's shoving food into his stupid face. Mm, too right, much let's, violence for me. Let's get That'd another. Be good. You could, uh, your first, your first show could be uh, missing persons, and she ends up in my driveway. <laughs> Linger longer. Linger much too long. I don't. I got it. I want to of do. Of course, Danny got it. I don't get that one. Yes, you do. Do I? Oh. Apparently. Oh. Spell it out with the uh, O. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, dear. Oh, dear. How about that Dr. Smith in Lost in Space? I can't believe that show's been off the air for nine years. First of all, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Laughing was off by 73. Uh, 68. Eight or sixty-seven, right? Yeah, Until what? Seventy-two. Now. He got it bad for that Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Yeah, do you? Like a guy wants to get out of jail to watch TV. Yeah, to watch uh, laughing. Fucking bullshit. Put it on cable. A wire? Why can't I put it on a wire that connects things? <laughs> <laughs> fucking overreacting assholes. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah I gotta let's... go. Uh, I gotta go get it online. Are you gonna stand in line? What? <laughs> fuck reacts like that information superhighway is that off the Gowanus? <laughs> <laughs> just uh, fyi laughing ran until 73 oh okay oh, oh, was last chance may 14th 73 well at least oh. you know it's january february march or april right it better be let's, uh -huh. let's do another one here i took a look at the file gene the FCC has a better case against George Carlin as seven dirty words than you have against Kim Gates. French show fucking stinks! I can't be happier that Jimmy is so annoyed at just oh, the clips. That was bad. These over-explaining faggots. Yes! How about yes. this? The FCC has a better chance against, a better uh, case against Carlin. That's yeah. how you would talk. Uh, you know, the seven, seven dirty, dirty words. words. Yeah. Like, no cop would say the FCC has Maybe a better not, chance but of no. I'm, I'm just trying to, you know. This is horrific. It's the the worst part of any show I've ever watched. That's fucking stinks. That's bad. You take a show that people, I think, find, I find a, a pretty compelling plot and then just fuck it up. They suck. They fucking suck. They got it. You think oh. if this was on HBO or something that they would be doing nope. shit like that? No, no, Omar be busy fucking some guy in the mouth and then yes. shoot him. Yes. <laughs> much more blind. Stick my gun in their mouth. <laughs> Sup, bird? I yeah, think HBO. What up, bird? Was, uh, what up, yeah, bird? what up, bird? A bird? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? A little flying animal? He left the S off. <laughs> <laughs> we got another HBO, one. HBO, I think, is this... doing a 70s cop show of David Milch's, I believe. Yeah? Yeah. Good for them. Based on a guy I know, Steve Kalura. It's actually a fascinating story. What's the story, know. Carl? Nice plug. How about filling is... everybody else in instead of hogging all yeah. the fun for How you? How is it a plug? I'm, I'm nothing to do with it. Shut up. Oh. It's still a plug. 
He said, nice plug. Well, hey, well, he's it. more beat up than Evil Knievel at that Caesar's Palace jump. <laughs> That happened just <laughs> real short time ago because it's 73. Look at this fucking book by George Orwell. Wait till that happens in 11 years. <laughs> 1984. That's so far in the future yeah. for us. Here in 73. Holy cow. Oh, God. Oh, I uh, fucking hate them all. Uh, How about a little subtle one? All right, here's a yeah. subtle one. This one's a great one. A little subtle? You're gonna yeah. Right, a we got, subtle take. We got a subtle one right okay. here. He just feels like you took a spot. But I wouldn't take it personal. Just yeah, well, I didn't request his transfer. It just happened. It's like Guantanamo Bay in here. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never been to Puerto Rico. Kim Trent, here is a DAT. You are free to go. You gotta respect those who defend the Constitution. <laughs> All hail the Nixon administration. <laughs> <sighs> Guantanamo, it looks like why he goes into the cells that are really messy, the guy from 2008, and he's like, Jesus Christ, it's like Guantanamo Bay in here. I wouldn't know, i never been to the Caribbean. Huh? Like, that it, wouldn't even get an answer from anyone. It's like Guantanamo Bay in here. No. Oh. Now, here's how fucking horrible the writing is. If we walked in and, and, and said, it's such unnatural, fucking typical, awful L.A. writer shit... Uh, if I walked in and go, Jesus Christ, fucking hottest balls, were we in Africa? Would, would any of you actually go, we don't know, Jim, we've never been to Africa. <laughs> I've never been to Botswana. You would get that somebody's just making a reference to a shithole. Uh, yeah, crappy place. And the bit officially begins. Let's say hi to but Danny in Louisiana. Just, Danny. Joke. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up? Yeah, it is. It's horrible. And, uh, Rico that uh, Macmillan and wife. I bet Rock Hudson gets all the dames, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh. Hey, look at that. We're watching Macmillan and wife. Yeah, because yeah, back hey. here in 73, we didn't know that. Yeah, I wish fabulous. I got as many broads as Rock Hudson. <laughs> Man, well, he's got AIDS. Of course he has helpers. Ha, <laughs> 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 Ah, uh, I wish my dad was more like Mr. Brady growing up. <laughs> uh, fucking in the ass? What? <laughs> All right, we got one more here. What's that? Oh, um, Lee got us tickets to see Greece. <laughs> you know, it's been playing for a year, and I've been dying to see it, so. It's been playing for a year, and I'm dying to see it a year. Because it opened in 72, 72, and it being, you know, 73. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I don't mind that one, to be honest with you, because nope. it is kind of funny like it's still running today. But let me tell you something. It's not funny. It's Let me tell you something. I mind no. that one most There was of all. no other reference to it. It was thrown in. It was at the end of the episode. So, like, haphazardly. And that was it. And, and that was it. the next scene. Yeah. It wasn't a part of the plot First of all, line. I don't like the fact that the woman, once again, she's a female cop, and she's talking like some you know actress from nowadays in the Midwest. Every female cop sounded just like Patty. And yeah. That's how they should all sound. Well, well there, the, here's another thing. The female cop is treated by the guys like, like shit. No respect. I know. They give her the menial little tasks, but she is so smart. Of course she is. And she should be, you know, she's smarter than the guys. Can you please? Because they got to kind of make that politically correct. Can you please just get my get my hint of doing the line as Patty. Oh, hey, I got gotcha. you. About going to see the play. God, am I horrible? You're right. Oh, yeah, I didn't get that. You're right. Going to see Greece. I like the version <laughs> with John Travolta in the movie that won't be out for five more years or so. Fifteen. Fifteen. Seventy-three to Patty. <laughs> Seventy. Seventy-three to seventy-nine. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am a, such a fucking dumb five-year-old boy. You were talking I about like in '68. You were talking about like 1988 or something. That's because you got your nose very crazy. Bad manual. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're listening to a bunch of talking heads like the band. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> well, with that, why don't we take a break? Let's just do heavy-handed references to now. Yeah. Like they were doing then, and see how casually they fit into the conversation. Well, let's make believe uh, we didn't say that, and after the break, we go into that mode. Yes. I'm fucking going to eat a the pretzel. The and everybody else. You having a pretzel? Current President Bush almost choked on one. Yeah, Why, well, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do but that is, there's nothing wrong with that. That is just as of stupid. Well, can I just make one last suggestion? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you please do Patty in Goodfellas? 
Doing like one of Henry Hill's voiceovers. Like, to us, the airport was in our backyard. Oh, know. I would have uh, more gone with, <laughs> Hey, touched me, and then he tried to throw me out of the car. <laughs> 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 That does sound you like You don't it. understand, yeah, it like Louis Daddy. <laughs> Louis Bracco does sound like Patty. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, without the emotional close. range, it's she's <laughs> fucking horrendous. She fucking wrecks everything she's in. I like to squeeze her tits and then just push her into an acting class. <laughs> they wore cheap clothes, a lot of pantsuits, and too much makeup, and they had bit skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> good fellas. Uh, what are we taking a break? Come back. Die, man. <laughs> oh. All right, we're gonna have uh, Jason Ritter come in here in just a minute or two. He's in the move, the new movie uh, W. Also, uh, a movie called Good Dick. I'm now in limited release, but I mean, if Jason wants to like talk about this, we're talking about Madonna. A Rod is now gonna officially start. Officially start effing her. You I think am. so? Yeah. That's what they're saying on all the, the gossip sites. And we were talking about, would you would you have sex with Madonna? No. And obviously for the story you would, but for the star fuck, you'd have to. Right. But, but if she was just some bitch walking down the street, you wouldn't, you wouldn't yeah. give her a second look. You wouldn't, go you into wouldn't it. give her a second look. You wouldn't go into it thinking, wow, this is going to be great. You would, you would do it because it's Madonna, and then you run back to your friends and go, holy shit, you're not yeah, going to believe this. Fuck Madonna. Yeah. Oh, snap. Dude, she's... Oh, snap. But A-Rod is what, 33? Dag. But he and fucks it, everything on the planet. It's like he's so probably he, bo is bored. He's younger than 33, yeah. isn't he? How no. old is he? He's got to be bored. He's 33. He's, he's bored, you think? Yeah. yeah. He, like, and he wants, yeah. he wants into that uh, 50, uh, 50 year old pussy. He wants to fuck a girl who isn't impressed that he's A Rod. Yeah. Because yeah. she doesn't give a fuck about his 200 million. Yeah, why, why do you have to so much, Joey? Colin, where are you in front of your friends? Colin, yeah. where, where are you at with the Madonna thing? I don't think about it either way. How about if she wasn't ten years younger than you? Would you fuck her? Oh, she's that's not she's nice. a chippy for Colin. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, you guys are out of line. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm, I'm feeling you. Where's uh? Let's bring in Jason. Jason Ritter from Good Dick. La -da 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 -da. Roland opens the door for Jason Ritter. And Roland -da -da -da. is the uh, consummate yeah. doorman. What's up, Jason? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hey, what's up, doing? Hey, how you doing, man? How, you doing? Man? how are you? Were you just on yeah. CW11? Yes, okay. I was. I ah, oh, cool. Uh, let's just notice one thing. Out of everybody here, because Jason rolls in Hollywood, the only one he was genuinely like, wow, his eyes pop was the legend. I saw that too. And know, it, it disappointed no, me. He thought you retired. He was happy to see you doing something. <laughs> 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 I saw you do a, a Stella show in New York a long time ago, ah. and I, I loved it. It was really funny. Thanks, Jr. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> see, can I? Can Colin I, is a legendary see, man. <laughs> no, Colin thanks for having me on. This is awesome. I can't believe I'm here. Oh no, pro you're you're in a huge movie. <laughs> Being here, really? Yeah, it's it's a no-brainer. It, actually, it really takes kind of a dip. No, no, no. This is doing a, that. This is awesome for me. So you're in W. Yeah, I have a I have a brief uh, brief scene in uh, W. And uh, that is as uh, George's brother, Jib, the, uh, Jib. the the Jib. golden child of the Bush family. Yeah, I would guess the younger version of Jeb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm only in the flashback. Unless scene. they did some prosthetic makeup <laughs> on you. Uh, no, no, just just in a in a flashback, he comes home drunk, and I slam him against the wall and say, uh, "Calm down." That's my whole. Thing. That's it. Calm down. Yeah, it was very cathartic, though. Yeah, I feel like for me and for Jeb, I, I feel like that. that That's your whole to part. That's it. Yeah. So don't don't drink. Uh, you know, don't get a large coke when you go see the movie because you'll miss me. We're getting all. Wow. The, we're getting calm all the... down. You're wrecking your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not How many takes did it take you to do calm down? Uh, it it took me quite a few. That's I, funny. To be honest. <laughs> I was a little when nervous. one line, when you got one line, and you just calm down. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it's true. You, you like you way overthink it, and then you're like, oh, yeah, there's so many different ways I could say this, and you you come out and it doesn't sound human anymore. What's my motivation? You're like, I'm gonna pronounce the L in calm. It'll be great. <laughs> calm down. Yes, that's yeah. better. No, they do it like Life in Mars. 
Calm down. Your attitude is too uh, fiery. You're going to end up in trouble someday. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get us into a war. Exactly. Uh, why, you? Yeah. So uh, you do that. Were you directed by uh, Oliver Stone yeah, during yeah. this uh, scene? Or yeah, Did definitely. you leave it to, like, somebody else? <laughs> no, no, no. He, he was there. He was, he was yeah. pretty hands-on, which yeah. was awesome. Man. Were, were you freaked out seeing Oliver Stone right there I as he trying to act? Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, he, he hid. It's been intimidating. He, he hid, but, I, yeah, I, was, I knew he was somewhere in the, in the house. And I was I was intimidated, but he was so cool. He was like a really nice guy. Yeah. I didn't I, I didn't know what to expect. You know. Yeah, he seemed like just kind of like a mellow pothead who's probably he probably gives he I think he walks away a lot in mid conversation. <laughs> like, that's the type of guy he seems like, like, like oh, he's just okay. distracted all the time. And you'll start talking, and he'll just like walk away. <laughs> whatever. And then you just go, oh okay, okay. Yeah. Right. All awkward. Yeah, because yeah. people watch it, they see it, and they have to kind of act like that was the end for you too. You ever have somebody do that to you? It's fucking awful. Yeah, and they walk away while I've you're had still talking. Do that a lot. It's yep. humiliating. Now it wasn't Jed like the Favorite of the father, though. Jeb. Jeb, but we don't what know is who this Jed? Jed. Is. Fucking uh, J-E-B. You're talking John about the Beverly Bush. Hillbillies. Yeah, what's up, Jeb? Colin? Yeah. Yeah, that's all right, that's all it's right. Jed Bush. It's Jed, but makes no difference. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he was. He was the golden child of the family. Like it. everyone thought he was going to be president. And then, uh, uh, because George... you saw when the, he was crying, fucking the senior was crying one time when Jed did some corny shit. Down Jeb, 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 Jeb. You oh, George Senior was crying. Jeb, Jeb. You could tell George and him he didn't like George. Jed's going to run for the presidency. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, it's Jeb. <laughs> It's you. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, we gonna be doing a little of that campaign in there, Grandma, <laughs> Grand, Granny. I'll help you campaign, Uncle Jed. You just, it's Jeb. I know, but you know what kills me? Here I am making a big fucking sweeping point that could actually change the course of history, and you cocksuckers <laughs> on one letter. Yeah. It's an important letter when it sure it's a th there's three in the name. The, yeah. Yeah. It's 33.3% <laughs> of the name, yeah. dummy. It's not like his name is Aristotle. Yeah. <laughs> Aristotle. Aristotle. Did you Aristotle. demand to meet Jeb Bush because you were playing him? You should have said, like, I have to get to know this guy. I, I, uh, I, I, he, he didn't return my calls, unfortunately. Ah. Well, what's his name? Who we have on yesterday? Uh, well, another guy that had one line in the movie. Cordry. Uh, uh, Cordry. <laughs> yeah. He played Ari Fleischer, yeah. Bob there, there, w. There, there are a lot of us uh, yeah. who had uh, with just one line just because we were like, cool, we can be in this? Awesome. Yeah, this to work with Oliver Stone stamp is fucking worth it. What you yeah. should have done is just criticize his politics the whole time, like in between takes. Like, yeah, that'd work. Yeah, you should just attack them for his shitty stance on Nixon, even if you didn't believe it. Just to fucking bother him. <laughs> oh, God. Or that, just consistently. That, just, that made me nervous, even the thought of doing it. <laughs> really? I just got nervous sitting here. Just argue JFK with him. Yeah. Just do that. Imagine how sick he is of <laughs> hearing that. JFK. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but dude, right. let me, no, let me, a minute of your time. Get this, get this guy off the set. <laughs> Fire. As crazy as your mother. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a small uh, part, but it, it is a part in the movie. It is and a part. Uh, what what did you what research did you do on Jeb? I just watched a lot of videos and read a lot of books and tried to figure out mainly what was happening in that time period for him. You'll be interested to know that uh, he uh, it was like a re little rebellious period for him, which was very him short. too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, George was an alcoholic for many many years, but uh, Jeb uh, he had a tiny little short window where he smoked a little weed and uh, joined mm. the socialist club at his school. Really. He was about to register as a conscientious objector to the Vietnam War and said, "Hey, Dad, is that what cool?" His dad was like. <laughs> Well, he went to the Vietnam War. He oh, did, did go because his dad said, "You can. I'm about to run. It would be helpful if you just went." So he, wow. he, he was a good. He was always the good boy. So he pleased ah. his father. You know, it, it's just that name now has been so screwed that he does not ever have a chance in hell of ever being the president. Yeah, that's that's a sad thing. There, yeah. there's a, uh, I read a little like a conversation between Jeb and George W. Where George W. said, "You know, I never grew up wanting to be president of the United States," and Jeb said, "I did." <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> really? And boy, you really screwed that <laughs> up for said, me. Thanks George a lot, said, bro. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Plus, yeah. he went to Vietnam, and he uh, George didn't. It's so weird. Yeah, he George. Was, he was busy he... here. He was in the National Guard. With yeah. Oliver Stone. Mm -hmm. That'd be a great You're platform. You're not a fucking firing squad, Bonds. <laughs> Bonds! <laughs> That'd be a great platform for Jeb to run under. I'm neither one of those assholes. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm the hope. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. No, Jason's in uh, W, but he's also in this movie called Good Dick. I got a yeah. copy yesterday. I did not see it. I, That's cool. Uh, I thought you were coming in next week. No problem. I want to see it, but I'm I'm hearing good things about Good Dick, and he stars in this thing. Yeah, I that's think. the main thing. That's the main reason he's here. They laugh I, uh, at the title. I play the title character also. <laughs> good I'd Dick. Like everyone to know. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, because you know, the audience knew right when Opie said that, that it will be isolated as a clip <laughs> right. that will be on my sound machine, and I will be able to have Opie go, I heard good things about uh, Good Dick. Good Dick. <laughs> and uh yeah. yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah. So what's that what's that about? Uh it's basically No, no, what's what's good dick all about? Ah, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't try to avoid it. Yeah. Jim, no. maybe you can enlighten us. <laughs> well, it depends on, on on how passable the tranny is. Yeah. <laughs> it's not gay if there's a skirt over it. All right. All right. <laughs> uh no, it's it's basically about I I my I, my character works in this video store and uh this this woman comes in every day and does nothing but rent erotica and then go home. So I get a little obsessed with her and uh you know, do what you normally do in that situation. You look up her address Rape. on the computer. And, uh, <laughs> you know what the funniest part about that was? <laughs> we'll listen to his explanation. He goes, she rents erotica, and everyone's always got serious. Like, okay, oh, now yeah. this is yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> no, this is something we need to hear about. Yeah. The whole fucking place yeah. was quiet. Like, no, yeah. I, I, you know, don't be, don't be fooled by the title. There's no penises in this movie nah. flying around. You know, it's, it's all, it's, you know, very straightforward. So you become, as a guy, like, really turned on by the fact that this dirty girl is renting pornography. That's naughty, exactly. Naughty. Fucking nice. That's right. exactly. Are, right. are you and you can research with Jimmy who's co-starring so it's really are you, is yeah, based on our inter, inner thoughts yeah yeah Mariana Palka who uh, wrote and directed it is uh, starring with are, me and, are you yeah, good are, are you the are you the bull in the movie the uh, I, I I think so I'm not a hundred percent know what the, do you know what the bull does uh, I, uh, we're obsessed with cuckolding on the show <laughs> cuckolding is like a lot of guys want to watch their wives have sex with other people Oh, I see. I don't know and, who these lot of guys are. Well, there are there's a big, <laughs> plenty of them. Everyone, please fuck my wife. Well, please. why don't we take a survey, yeah. Anthony? We got a, we got a crowd out you there. Fuck my wife. We, how many guys are into watching their wife uh, have sex with another guy? Wow, wow. So it's not big wow. at this point. Those hands yeah. going up. Wow. Yes. Not, yes. not one hand. That's because I'm the one that's married. Thirty guys out enjoyable. there. Enjoyable. This is a bad question because they're all homosexuals. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not. <laughs> um, so you, you play? It's a comedy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you, she's rent, what kind of porn is she renting? Is right like a she's specific... renting like silly '80s erotica, like you know, mm. like hey, we're in a ghost and it's filled with we're in a uh, haunted castle and it's filled with sexy ghosts oh, right. and they want me and like or like I'm an alien and you must teach me the way. Of human sex, they were ridiculous kind of back things. then. <laughs> they, they were yeah. totally ridiculous. Dumb friggin' eighties porno. Yeah, they didn't have <laughs> time for they porno. They didn't spend a lot of time on. Uh, Just on, get to the point. <laughs> is pretty much where I'm at. They, they spent a lot of time on plot, which is not <laughs> necessarily yeah. what you want. To I do. like some plot though. If the plot was good, because I'm, it's like the sex. The, the taboo of the dirty shit, like, oh my right. god, she's sucking her uncle's dick. Like, it was so <laughs> fucking hot. It's, 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 it's the, uh, mental. It's the, <laughs> well, it's like, you ever see, like, in Boogie Nights when he goes, you made a good film here, Jack. And he's like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. I mean, the directors want to keep themselves interested, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Maybe it's the anticipation. Then. You're like, oh my yeah. god, a sexy ghost is going to yes. appear any second. One of, the, <laughs> <laughs> one of the things I remember from my first porno was a movie with a woman named Kelly Mint called The Fur Trap. <laughs> Ah! It, was about a fur, it, it was about a fur play. I walked at my buddy Roger's house. And I was so turned on, I had to go into his parents' bathroom. I laid on the floor of his parents' bathroom, and I jacked off like with my head near some Indian people's toilet. Wow, you were really <laughs> fucking... It, was, it was changed my life. <laughs> but in the fur trap, uh, it was that Kelly Mint the greatest. and another girl, and the girl seduced her. And she was like, no, don't, we shouldn't... It was like that lead, and it wasn't just two girls burning their faces. There was like a sexy little... Lead up to it. That's mm -hmm. the anticipation. That's yeah. what it's all about. But can you imagine this horrible prone troll lying on the floor of some horribly decorated oh, Indian bathroom? Wagon My friend, off? we were just sitting there <laughs> in a I fucking didn't... horrid. <laughs> I got up because my Raj, I don't, I don't know if he jacked off like I did. We were just sitting on the floor. It was so homoerotic. Well, that's the weird thing. Yeah, a lot of dudes like w watch that stuff together. I don't quite. Get no, that. this it was, was the one and only time. <laughs> never again. I never seen a porno. No, I understand. Top I, load VCR. I think a lot of people have done it, but I don't think a lot of people have really looked into what what's actually happening in those moments. <laughs> it's I, two dudes with boners hanging out. That's exactly yeah. what it was. And Raj was sitting there. I'm like, I got to go to the bathroom. And I went up, and I went, I couldn't even get home. I lived across the street. I just went <laughs> across the street. I swear to God, if anybody else it. said that, you'd think they were lying, but I believe. No, it's true. Yeah. I, I, my dick had to be taken care of, and I just laid on the floor. <laughs> my back was on the cold tile, and my 
my head was on the fucking mat with the toilet. Your feet I was the toilet. audience to the dead eyed stare as he lies on <laughs> yeah, the floor. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my buddy Frank, who's a cop now, his dad had a lot of porn. And uh, I remember there was some, a cool one. It's a, it was a Ron Jeremy one. They dubbed his voiceover, but it was shot on video. And that looked so raw and real. When you saw porn on video, it was like it was like mm. crystal and alive. Why did they dub his voiceover? I don't know. I, I that's weird. Don't know. It's so bizarre. Was he offended by that? Was he like, "That's my work"? That's I would, my. I would <laughs> yeah. love to ask him. Damn you! Because one of the girls who suck, he plays a piano teacher, and there's two girls, and they go, "Oh god," and it's awful, and they blow him. And but one of the girls had braces, and I think she was so sexy. I'd love to ask him who she was because he knows all the old school porn people. Um, so I had to. My, my friend Frank was in his basement with a bunch of guys watching. And I actually had to find an excuse to sneak back into his house. Like, we, we, Frank, they were all at the pool. I'm like, I gotta go downstairs. I left my gun. Are you shitting me? <laughs> and I me? jacked off in his basement. <laughs> oh, wow. Did you, his pop, did you pop it back in? or? Uh, of course. I went down to put yeah. the movie in. Yeah. And, and I was just like, I, I just jacked off real quick. And I don't remember if I shot a load or if I heard them calling me. Do you think anyone hogwash. actually believes those excuses of, like, when you're watching something like that? Oh, sorry, I just got it. I'm just getting a soda. Yeah. And be gone. It takes I'll be a while. back in, like, 15 minutes. Come they back all flushed and sweating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Tissueing off your hand. to drink it in there. I didn't <laughs> Yes. Wanna... I apparently spilled it all over the front of my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I don't. Th I think they would believe it because back then, no one. You, know, you agree to believe it. You all agree to believe it. It's an unspoken like, he's thing. Just yeah, he just has to. He just has to go take a shit right take, now. Yeah. But that was maybe it was a shit. A shit out thing, of his what? dick. Nobody <laughs> comes out white. Is Norton? I've never seen him so alive as when he just started describing the porn. Oh yeah, he was so. It's like it's, it's his whole life. Yeah, you ever it, see? It you ever him. see like in the Untouchables when you see at the end of Nero's crying watching the opera? You know, when he's playing Al Capone. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. <laughs> Brings tears to his eyes. Little the, sympathy. Yeah. No, but nobody acknowledged that they jerked off. So you, it wasn't, nobody was really, we were all just kind of started to jerk off at that point. I think they 13 or whatever. So you didn't, like, it, it wasn't like this thing that everybody knew. Like, if, if you, you go for a half hour and there's a porn on, oh, he's Jack, you know what he's doing. And mm -hmm. you, you won't care. But back then, no one, like, you acknowledged that we did it to ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So, so in, the, uh, in, in the movie, yeah. she watches... Porn. Yeah, she watches. Uh, do we get into any like what what type of porn she likes, or is it just everything? It's all. It's basically all that that soft yeah, the, the kind silly of part. silly uh, yeah. old eighties. And it starts mm. off with her. She she rents this one movie, uh, and my character. It's the first time that that sort of unspoken deal is broken, where you just someone's renting porn. Don't talk to them. Don't yeah. say anything. And my character's like, hey, can, let me just tell you, this this one's gross. I just want to tell you, like, this one's not good. You're not gonna like. I know your taste by this point. He doesn't say this, but he uh, he makes a suggestion, and it's a little awkward. But you know, she, she's creeped she out by it. it. Yeah, she's definitely creeped hot. out. It's yeah. it's it's really good. We were excited, and starting uh, tonight at the Sunshine for one week only. We're releasing it ourselves, so it's a very short, uh, oh, limited release. Limited release, yeah. So it's only Sunshine's on. I want to say it's on Houston in New York. That's right. I mean, in, in in the village, it's a oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah Houston yeah. Great and theater. Second Avenue, I think, or Second. Yeah, right, right. Look at Jimmy. That's where Jerry had his premiere for comedian. See? Oh, Jerry there you go. Seinfeld. The, 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 he just says Jerry. I know. Well, yeah, I and Colin there. just pushes his car to start it. If, if I Colin, just say Jerry. You'll never live that down. If, if Colin, you say Jer, pop the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you how Colin? I call Colin sometimes. Colin and I will eat at, at, at a place. I called him one morning. I'm like, By the way, this is a great story. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> <laughs> an asshole. I was uh, I got so mad at Colin because I called him. I'm like, hey man, let's go for some lunch. And he goes, I oh, know I can't. I and I thought he said I'm having breakfast with Jer. And I'm like, all right. I'm like, so um, I just kept trying to talk, and he's like, all right. I guess my card, my dad's card's full. I'm like, what a fucking douchebag. Like he doesn't invite me to have fucking oh. a meal. Like, what an asshole. Why you, you can't invite him? someone if you haven't well, had with... finished. That's the end oh. of the story. He's a dick. No, the end of the story. Oh, <laughs> someone all of a sudden has interest, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> I know what the end of the story is. I'm part of it. So I fucking... <laughs> I fucking... <laughs> I, I talked to Colin the next day. I, I had, like, a mild resentment. I was really irritated. And I'm like, oh, gee, I was, I was trying to be, like, you know, joking. I'm glad I did. I'm like, well, nice of you to invite me to lunch with you and Jerry. He goes, oh, no, we, we had already eaten breakfast. I was home. So he said I had lunch, breakfast with Jerry, so I fucking misunderstood him. I oh, so in hurt. other words, was he was able to think, think quick on his feet and say that he'd already had breakfast oh, no, to he, shut you up. No, because I could picture him 
No, he would love nothing more oh, okay. than to have to me rub call it in. and let me know he was out with Jerry and then purposely not ask me and then say to Jerry, he wanted me to fucking ask him to come so bad that I didn't. That's the way he operates. <laughs> but Colin, would you ask Jimmy to... Yeah, no, he would shit. Here's would. what he would do. I don't think you he would. would go, "Hey, what's up, Norton?" And he would point to the phone to see if it was okay to ask me. He would point to Jerry. Like, yeah. And Jerry would go, "No, no, I would do it exactly like that, but there's enough <laughs> truth to that that I have to. Yeah. <laughs> there's an organic truth to that. <laughs> Whereas if it was me and Kyle out to lunch and Jerry called, he would not only go, "Hey, Jerry, do you want to go to lunch?" But if Jerry said, "Can you get alone?" He'd go, "Norton, I gotta go," and he'd leave me at the fucking table. <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Not like Rupert Pumpkin. Jerry. 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 Yeah. Jerry. Now, Jerry. Come over to your house. We'll do some work. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I'm going to be twice as famous as you. <laughs> yeah. That movie's so that good. That was one of those movies God that give damn. you that embarrassing feeling yes. when you watch Rupert Pumpkin. That, I we were talking about that Which embarrassing movie? feeling you get King, King of, of Comedy. Comedy. Oh, God. Oh God. I yeah, guarantee yeah. Norton's first five minutes were no fucking better than Rupert Pumpkin's. They were. Show. Yeah. Like yours were? Mine always were. Of course they were. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rupert Pupkin's five minutes. What's the matter? You don't want to graduate? <laughs> oh, just bad, mediocre material, actually. Yeah. But it wasn't as awful as you That was the great point. That's what I'm saying. To a fucking hack from Jersey, it wasn't at all. <laughs> to a goddamn artist like myself, it was terrible. <laughs> no, a guy. Shut up. Who fucking talked <laughs> to a tape recorder. Quiet. To cardboard cutouts. Clam up. Clam up. Actually, no, I'm going to you get this. I've been sitting on this since 1982. <laughs> Clam up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. Oh, see? No, everybody lose. I'll no, tell I, Jason. I want to hear. Hey, the I'll tell you after. Your movie. Right, tell me after. Uh, hey, the commercial for your movie. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on. Where are you? Will you please, will uh, you please do it? Wait a minute. How about this? Wait, we're Anthony, will you do right. Patty renting from in his movie, in the movie about the dick? It's Wait, called good, good, good dick. dick. Good dick. Good dick. I don't want to see the movie with the good. T I won't even say the word good. Mm. No, she's, <laughs> she's out there. Bring her in. Yeah, good. Bring Patty in. Yeah, could, could you do the scene from? Oh, the movie acting then? in the movie. Yeah. I yeah, wish I saw the movie. movie. How old the guy are you? Guys? I'm 28. Uh, oh, geez, I think you're like fucking 19. All right, so 28. <laughs> I shaved. So you're 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 old enough to be fucking. Uh, Patty's a little bit older. Okay, I'll give her my. Uh, Patty is. Uh, she's 52. She's a virgin. Okay. 53. Oh, shit. She's gonna correct 53. you. 53. She's gonna correct you. Hello. And hey, yay! Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi, Patty. Hi. Hi, Patty. Hi. Here comes you? old baby chiclet teeth. <laughs> this is uh, Jason Ritter. He's in the new movie W and another movie called Good Dick. Yes. Hi. Hi, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Good. Smooth. So you're in movies. I, 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 I've been, wow. in, I've been uh, in a couple. Wow. wow. Um, but yeah, the two are coming out today, so that's that's why I'm here. So you're into you're in sharks. I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, well, you could say that. Huh? Yeah, Patty, you can talk to him. Yeah, go ahead. Talk to him. Oh, I'll come see him. Yeah, good. The one at the Sunshine Cinema um, tonight uh, for for it's one week out. only. So where is that? I've never heard of it. Oh, it's on. Uh, it's on Houston and Second. Uh, so, uh, oh, okay. Like sort of in the downtown. Um, way out east. Okay. Yeah, out east. Sure. Okay. Yeah, downtown. Out east what? Village. Out east. It's Did out she east. say out east? It's yeah, east it's Montauk. They're playing on the side yes, of the lighthouse, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> what do you? Think? Lower east side. No one has ever said out east. <laughs> never. <laughs> out east. Out east means you're crossing a bridge. You're going yeah, through a tunnel. Colin, that was a brutal attack. <laughs> That's all right. No, it's, you know, it's, it is Launch east. missiles. <laughs> but it's can't east, you and it's outside. Jason, yeah. it's can't not all right. <laughs> She's stupid, and we have to point hey, it out. Hey, no. Oh. She says, I don't, I don't walk in, so you're in movies. <laughs> right. Fatty, come on. You Patty. do better than that. No, I'm saying Why are you crossing your arms? You're nervous no, to be in front of Jason Ritter? Do you do the scene with her? You play Jason, and she play the girl in the movie. Is it a talkie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old. Mm. Really? <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the uh, and um, improv. those of you with headphones, Patty's. Yeah, but Patty's improv. Really when is it playing bad. tonight? That's not uh, true. Yeah, it is playing tonight. It's playing. Uh, I, I think. Yeah, it's playing tonight, and it'll be there for all we all week until Thursday. You know, Jason was just telling us that he doesn't have anyone to go with tonight for. Uh, <laughs> he's like the big what? premiere like, of the movie. If you're looking at a dude like this, a celebrity, and he's having trouble getting yeah, a date. Yeah, he, he, he was just saying women. that That's before he got in here. Oh, I don't think he means older women my age. Well, you're older, aren't you? He's 28. I thought he was younger. Oh. He's 28. Jason, you would take her, right? Yeah. 
right, I'll be a date. Okay, <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah. I hope you like. I hope you like the movie. It, it'll. Um... <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty sure I like, oh, you cool. son of a bitch. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> She's grateful. Imagine. No, we, we, could all, we could all go. Let's all go. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, let's all go. Exactly. Could you no, see no, her no, walking I... in on your arm? We, Hi. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no problem. Yeah, yeah, no, this is good. I like that. <laughs> oh. He's a handsome guy, right? The, the more people will see the movie, He's the better. Very good looking, yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, very good you know looking. You know, we're, we're not <laughs> used you. to hanging out with good people. Jason's good people. <laughs> He's a good person. Yeah. yeah. We'd be like scrammed. Hasn't it. just been beaten down by the business yet. <laughs> right. Like everybody else. Why the hell? Why do you guys, why don't you guys just describe my height and weight while you're at it? Why <laughs> oh <my laughs> it? Yeah, you know, beaten down by he the goes, business, bitter. You know, bad people. We're used to good people. He's like the innocent young thing. I'm like, ah. Like, the, <laughs> like nasty Colin Quinn. Right. Just bitter. You guys uh, have some nerve. Colin's gruff. <laughs> yeah. Nothing wrong with your height and weight. Yeah. What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing wrong with your height and weight. <laughs> Please finish for us. So <laughs> that's, that's, that's all I got. I'm, yeah, go ahead. Watch. Nothing. He was just floating out there hoping somebody else could smash Nothing wrong with, with his height and weight. No. And then it's, it's actually started for, uh, and then you add in something that's insanely big. Or if you're and on and you name if another planet. If you're on a planet, planet right, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're standing next to Big A. You know. Yeah, yeah. Your height and weight proportionate if you're made of lead. <laughs> 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 Patty, any, any other questions for Jason? Yeah. No, no I, I don't. <laughs> well, I'll come out and see the movie tonight. All right. Okay. Okay. What time does it start? You know damn well uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, I think it starts at 7. There's one at 7. Uh, oh, gosh. I'm not 100% sure. One's at... <laughs> One's at nine. I should probably know this. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things. <laughs> Just show up at six and... and, and, and uh, there's two shows tonight. Is that your publishers out there? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you, uh, miss, do you know? Oh, miss! <laughs> it's a 6.30 show and a 9 p.m. show. There 6.30 and 9. At the Sunshine? Yeah, it's at the Sunshine Cinema. Hey, is Jason yes. doing... And we'll be there for Q&As yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll be at Q&As oh. for both screenings. Is, is, J is Jason doing well so far? He's doing awesome. Jason is like the nicest person in the world. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. used to hanging around with nice people. So. Are you a married gal? I'm getting married. It. <laughs> <laughs> She's lovely. Married girl, are oh, you? Yeah. <laughs> a lovely girl. Yeah. Mm. She is lovely. <laughs> wow, wait. All right. I'm sure that's not uncomfortable either to have like fucking 300 guys just staring at you creepily from yeah. bleachers. And 300 <laughs> creepy guys staring at you creepily. Every yes. Day, every day. Every day. <laughs> every day. It's not exactly like the fucking Harvard rowing team. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of the blue seats at the Rangers. <laughs> so, Patty, Jason's a handsome dude. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. I can't wait to see you in the movie. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, 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 You're I, not going to the movie. This is all a lie. Yeah, it's yeah, not it, true. It, it's it, not it, a lie. It's a ruse. You're not going with him. Why can't you? you you'd go with him, right? She can't likes... afford gum. I'll go on my own. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll just come. Yeah. Well, we'll all be there. There'll be a Q&A afterwards, so it'll be it'll be fun. Ooh. Yeah, that's uh, cool. Jason, by the way, we fingered her uh, on the show <laughs> two weeks not ago. Not for a crime or anything. She's, yeah. a, she's a virgin. She, we fingered Literally. Her, we fingered her in the fart box and the pussy at the same time. Did you guys finger Does that? Yeah. Who yeah. Did, yeah. Who me and Dennis Is there a double Jimmy. meaning there? Or is that you just, and Dennis? Oh, yeah. no, it is what it is. No, quite literally. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're on satellite radio, my I friend. Got, I got it. Jimmy yeah. put a glove on. Jimmy yeah. put a glove on. It was like some you new Facebook Dennis term or something like yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> Facebook term. <laughs> well, it brings it back to the movie because, uh, what's his name? Dennis Hoff from, from the Bunny uh, Ranch. Ranch out there in Vegas. Uh, he got the pussy and Jimmy threw it in her pocket. I don't know. I didn't put a finger in because she's a virgin. of the mind. Oh, yeah. Exactly. No theater for you then. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's a blank screen, uh, ain't it? <laughs> it really is. Uh, fucking projector spinning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the old <laughs> <line is yours. laughs> and she's a virgin. She'll do anything but have sex. Yep. It's bizarre. Yep. And then when she gets close to having an orgasm, then she backs out. She goes, I want to stop. I don't okay, like enough, this. It's enough. weird. It's weird. I understand that. I, I get that. There's, <laughs> everyone, everyone, everyone's different. Everybody has their own things. And when you said, when you you said anything about her sex, huh? one time my friend, was he broke up with his girlfriend, but they're still living in the same house. Yeah. And Awkward. she went out one night on a date, and then she came back, but they're still living together, but they were broken up. And he goes, what did you do? Did you fuck him? She goes, no. Everything but. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh wow. Shit. Ouch. Oh, that... <laughs> 
He said, ah, it, that's was, bad. He said it was worse. Yeah, because yes. then you and picture, then picture she, everything but yeah. that. And then you, the, the, ah. the possibilities are limitless. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. <laughs> One in each hand. That's yeah. hard. That's friends, <laughs> friends were involved. Exactly. That's terrible. But. Oh, God. He said it was Damn. so much worse. How, uh, At least she didn't bring him home. That would be <laughs> more. That was the next oh, moment. yeah. Now watch. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, any, any, any ladies in your life? Uh, yeah, well, really? uh, yes, uh, Mariana Polka, who wrote and directed and produced oh, right, the star. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we've been together oh, for and, a while. Oh, an, I, uh, an item. Were you guys yeah. together before it started or during? Yeah, yeah. Um, Sparks flu. We, uh, yeah, we've been together, uh, for about nine years. Oh my wow. God. Are yeah. you serious? Damn. Wow. Do some math, we, we you are a youngster. We shot in our, uh, apartment. Yeah, I was 19, she was 18 when we met. Oh, okay. Nice. Anthony, <laughs> Dog, you know, dog shit sniffer that. writes, this guy makes Brian Regan look like a prick. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Regan's the nicest guy ever. <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, I like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was, it was cool. We, we shot this in our apartment. We got all our friends to help, and uh, I don't know why I'm pointing to that TV. Yeah, dude. you're pointing to a TV. I'm like, what? They, they <laughs> do the Today apartment. Show from your apartment? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Or is that the, the, the Muppets? I.O. The cable <laughs> commercials. <laughs> yeah, that's our apartment. That's all of us. Uh, no, yeah, we, uh, yeah it, was, it was like a really sort of uh, homemade... Thing. That's why we're self-distributing cool. it. So, I hope is it playing in out. LA too, or is it only in the Sunshine? It, uh, it was in LA last week. It's it's playing uh, in New York and Columbus this week, and then later in Philadelphia and later in San Francisco. So it's Columbus, Memphis. Ohio. This week we're on all over the country. So oh great, yeah, Columbus, Ohio, uh, at the Gateway Theater uh, starting today, and then uh, October thirty first in Philadelphia and uh, November fourteenth in San Francisco, Very Berkeley. Cool. This sounds like a fucking hot con. Cool. It, David yeah. Tell told me about a movie one mm -hmm. time. It's it's a foreign film about this. She's like a, a a foreign language teacher, and she goes into peep booths, like masturbates, watching all this dirty, filthy wow. porn. I, I was looking for it yesterday in Barnes and Noble. I couldn't remember the, the name. But I was hoping like some foreign movie box mm -hmm. would like you know. <laughs> really I could show I, you something. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name. If anybody knows, somebody will get it for you, Jimmy. Yeah, get the name anyway. She plays with a vag a lot, apparently watching porn. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah you don't see a lot, a lot of movies fun. about like women and their relationships to uh, porn, which Sexy. they they do exist. Yes, you know. When you know a girl Filthy watches girls. porn, they probably want more online. But mm. I, it's amazing how hot that is. You know, like, oh, you fucking dirtbag. It's just so nice. <laughs> I think that I think that <laughs> I think that online is becoming more popular than renting porno movies. You know what, though? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I tell you one thing. Every Saturday night when I'm in Blockbuster renting a few films, I see yes. the same thing. It's hard to get them on the VCR oh, anymore. Oh, the late fees. I could never bring them back on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, anything else for Jason there, Patty? No, uh, we're exactly on house. What's the name You're of the house? Oh my oh God! It's about, yeah, no, my he's own. not a it's GPS a, it's system. A, it's, a, it's at the Sunshine Cinema on Houston and Second. Oh, okay, I'll find. She it. really is right, great cool. for plugs, though. And what are the show times again? Yeah, what I is know, it? I appreciate I know what that. It is around seven, so you know. Yeah. I can't believe fucking. Why is, but wait, why is W playing on one screen? I mean, it's like with Dreyfus. No, no, yeah, no, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't Jimmy a tool? Did you get to uh? So who's Brolin's in your scene, right? Or is it what you guys are? No, yeah, it was me and Josh Brolin and uh, Ellen Burstyn and James Cromwell and me. Jesus you know, Cromwell. Going, they're going to figure it James out. Cromwell. Don't do that, boy. You're not. You don't have the practice. I want to know how. <laughs> That'll do, pig. Fucking stretch, stretch Cunningham from All in the Family got to be a huge actor. <laughs> oh yeah, that's him. Yeah, stretch. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you, see, you did you kept doing like Exorcist lines? To Maybe first, and she probably loves mm -hmm. that. Maybe <laughs> you should keep away from Exley, boy. He's not. He doesn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Exley. <laughs> he plays uh, Bush Senior, right? Uh, the, yeah, the father. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he does. Um, I don't know. If you specify who Bush Senior was, like people wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bush Senior, you know, that president from the 80s. <laughs> back in the day, that yes. Life on Mars. Way back. <laughs> Are you watching Life on Mars? I've never seen it, and I'm obsessed with it now. It's that new Harvey Keitel show. Now you have show. to watch oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen commercials for it. No, my TV doesn't work. Really? Yeah. It doesn't work. Why doesn't it work? Well, I don't know. So I think I'm, I was a victim of some kind of con. This guy came into our apartment and said, Are you getting free cable? And I, 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 I don't know. And then he came in and unplugged things and probably stole some stuff and left. <laughs> Wait, I was like, I was like that's You are too nice now, I see. It's <laughs> you just let a man yeah, come on in. Well, he said this whole building is getting free cable. And I was like, Oh, oh God. And then. And You're I a didn't, fucking gypsy. I didn't know. Yeah. And then later the next day, I went around all my neighbors. I was like, That was so weird. That guy came in and unplugged the cable and no one else had seen oh. it. Oh. 
man. It was cr- a little creepy, it and it's never worked since. So. When that happened? That happened about two, two and a half years ago. You know it's good, though? <laughs> wow, he's not a good cable repairman. No, no, no. you got to uh, call Larry the Cable Guy. Come on, back me up. Get her done. <laughs> well, I went to this one guy's house. Uh, Have you seen that early clip of Larry the Cable Guy where he's like, he's, <laughs> I went to the store the other day. And yeah, where he's not, clip, he's not the southern guy. The sad thing was, I was fucking at that clip. I used to open for me. <laughs> really? I don't oh, have to see clips. Geez. I'm fucking 90. <laughs> yeah, he was Dan Whitney. Dan Whitney. That's what right. used to work with me. But he wasn't Larry back then. No, it was Larry. We get it, he used Colin. To come <laughs> what? He used to work with you and then shot to success. And... No, but the saddest part was even like seven years ago, I was doing, he was calling in as Larry the Cable Guy, and I tried to get him on the line to after the show. I tried to get his number with the radio guy to tell him. I wanted to lecture him and go, hey, that character's funny, but do it sparingly. Like, don't make it. <laughs> oh, shit, yeah. You don't want <laughs> that to be a whole gig. I would have fucking million dollars. I literally was going to lecture him. He was just open for me. So, so I was going to tell him, hey, man, you know, do that once in a while, but don't make that your whole thing. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> in arenas. Right. Yeah. Sells out arenas. Yeah, he would probably have told Guns N' Roses, stick with the acoustic. I mean, the electric stuff is yeah. okay, but you don't want to get too loud. No one yeah, likes yeah. that anymore. <laughs> Get rid of that Slash guy. He's not yeah, he's not good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one really likes him. Yeah, get rid of him too. Velvet Revolver. Ah! Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, terrible advice. <laughs> hey, uh, Jason, have you, seen, do a bit of have you seen Two Girls, One Cup? Uh, he, unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I will we never thinking, be able to not see that. We were, we were thinking porn. Maybe we uh, say into the Two Girls. Coincidentally, that was done oh, in Jimmy's apartment Yeah, uh, yeah. with his friends. <laughs> If you low budget. That was your cup? It really yeah. was. Yes. <laughs> I haven't even washed it. <laughs> oh, well, Jimmy, Jason's such a nice guy. Why don't you explain like, you know, what you like uh, to be done to you? You know, it's just sharing. You what, occasionally? Motherfucker. Uh, no, th- this is good stuff, though. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he's, you motherfucker. He's a nice guy. He, you know, you guys got something that is relatable. He wants me to tell you that I've done some bad things sexually. <laughs> I've, done right. some bad things. Uh, yes. I've done some bad things. I've done some bad things. I've done some bad things. Well, you can talk around Jason uncomfortable. It. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He's a probably, you know, he's a good kid. Shower curtain. <laughs> you could... You, 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 you had sex I've been tickled on a lot. To... You've been tickled a lot. A lot. That's not bad. So, no, so... no, no, he didn't, he didn't say tickled. tickled. <laughs> no, I thought you said tickled. Uh, I, like, I, oh, I wish worst. my family wishes like... I had said tickled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> tickled is not bad. Yeah. And I let him go. I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. Good point. Yeah. Tickles are rarely yellow and smell like ammonia. <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or uh, what do they smell like? The asparagus? Oh, well, only if you eat well. So, are you working on a project now? <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm not. Just, just re- we're trying to release this uh, since, um, yeah. We, so we've just been trying to get it out there as much as possible. Now he's uncomfortable, with Jim. He's like, no, no I would be too. A guy's been tickled a bunch of times, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Elmo. Tinkle, tickle. Yeah. tinkle me, tinkle. Elmo. <laughs> there you go, one. Piss, piss oh, on me. Oh, piss okay. on Elmo. That's, right. that's not so bad either. That's not weird. <laughs> really? Right, see, no go. one gets hurt. All right. You... He's fucking all right, this guy. He's, so probably, my... he's such a nice guy. He's probably a bigger filth bag than all this of us. this guy's good. <laughs> <laughs> Always the nice guy. Behind closed doors, it's like, yeah. all right, bitch, you take those he goes, fucking he, candies He goes off. out and he probably just picks up hookers and chains them and abuses them. You, know who, fucking... he could, you know who he could play in a movie? John Edwards. Like oh. the handsome guy, kind of, right? With the secrets. With the secrets. Yeah. He looks like him. Nothing? Nothing. <laughs> Not nothing. Not nothing. I up. really do feel, honestly, I'll tell you exactly what I felt right I'm agreeing like, with I was you. kind of, I know. But then everybody turned on me because it wasn't fucking vile. Yeah. I really did feel like, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I felt like I was just uh, stepping it up a notch and everybody turned on me because it was kind of, you know. Yeah. It could have led somewhere nice and deep. Well, they're not really. Fuck <laughs> this joint. I <laughs> saw my own shit. The whole thing was, he looks a little bit like, I guess a little bit like uh, a young Edwards. I pictured him with his hair shorter and just yeah. kind of acknowledging what you said. Thanks. I didn't realize you wanted to make 13 episodes out of it. Why don't you get yourself a <laughs> haircut? Serious? Why don't you cut your hair? Show your face. <laughs> I do need a haircut. Actually, he doesn't yeah. talk much, your friend Henry. <laughs> John, in Vir- talk much. John in Virginia writes, uh, Colin to Seinfeld. Hey, Jerry, that sitcom thing is going to hurt your stand-up. Don't do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No one cares about observations, Jerry. Right, right. A, coat, a sock closet? I've Who the fuck some, would buy a sock closet? Uh, I've given some very bad advice. It's the fucking truth. Yeah. You really have. Oh, horrendous. Most of all to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What you should do is talk into a recorder everything you really think and then play it back and do none of it. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any advice for me so I can watch out for 
Well, mm. here's what you do. You go <laughs> up to Oliver Stone, you go, you know what? I like some of your shit. But... <laughs> <laughs> That's what Colin would do. Just look at Colin's career and do the exact opposite. Of whatever Colin would do. Colin has had six... Teasing Colin. Colin's had Teasing. a... Oh, I don't care. I love Co Colin A lot of Quinn. it's true. No, Colin's had a very no. good amount of success considering the human he is. <laughs> like... What does that mean? What does he, that mean, he's, Colin? He's a very funny comedian, like a, an exceptionally funny comic. So he's gotten very far despite his horrendous decision making and his inability to play the game politely. Ah, was that a... Are you difficult to work with, uh, Yes! No. And uh, no. No. <laughs> I'm not difficult to work with when I'm in charge. When I do tough crowd, every, my whole staff to this day loves me and says it was the nicest experience. What do we got to say? Yeah, exactly. But when I have to work with other <laughs> people telling say? me what to do, I get upset. It can be mm. upsetting. Aww. Yeah. Yeah, you get I don't get like that. being pushed I understand around. That. That's all. Re rejection. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Don't like that rejection don't thing. Don't like it. No. You ever play take this job thing. and shove it and pump your fist to it? I do it all the time. <laughs> Have you? Uh, I think well, about I'll give you the pro my problem is what I was just telling before. When I was in one line in Crocodile Dundee two, no way! I, I rewrote the whole <laughs> script with myself as the co-lead and handed it in. That's amazing. And expected them to do it. So I mean, obviously, it's I have delusions of grandeur. Yeah. That's amazing. It's probably well, you know, we, we never saw that version of Crocodile Dundee. No. It might have done a lot better. I yeah. wish we had. Jim wishes we had it more than I do. But can you imagine how? I don't see Paul Hogan it, anywhere in this room. No. So, you know, <laughs> you win. Checkmate. It would have been the most. It had to have been the most horrifying version. But as, had a copy. as Paul's fucking co co. Uh, well, because I read the script with Charles Dutton, and the movie was just like let him around New York. Can, but can you tell but us? My what, version was like me. But tell us about your version well yeah. i don't remember i wish i could get a copy but basically it was me like hey buddy and this is queens and this is sunnyside <laughs> he said, hey you ever go to this irish bar oh here's what a mafia is it was just like fucking horrifying did you give yourself oh, oh. a lot of the laughs was that did i'm you, sure i yeah. gave myself well, i'll yeah. tell you that trick i did to jim carrey right where we wrote like jim carrey wrote this treatment like a fake treatment because we had the same manager and i showed up and he was with his girlfriend and my manager but this i did as a joke and it was a whole treatment i typed out we called about two Mountie partners, and one was like the crass kind of funny guy, and he was like the asshole, so it was like a comedy, <laughs> only it's like insulting to him. And I just sat there, I go, yeah, I wrote it. And even my manager didn't know, he's like, well, you didn't even tell me about this shit. I go, it'll take him a few minutes to read these, we're at dinner. I go, nah, it'll take two minutes. <laughs> and he sat there and just read it, and you could see he's like fucking furious. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, who's dick. this fucking asshole? He's like, every line was like, I'm the cool guy, and he's a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> it's like insulting his like, Jim Carrey skills. Like, and then he does a stupid flip, but I did like really subtle. <laughs> and you could just see he's getting fucking furious. That's amazing. And his girlfriend sitting there like bored, like this is all uncomfortable. <laughs> That's really what is amazing. it of balls then on after you? After like 10 minutes, he finally just starts laughing because he realized that nobody could be this fucking offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Except Colin. And he enjoyed it. That's amazing. It's so great. That's great. And uh, it, uh, that moment obviously helped him do nothing for you. You should have just kissed his ass, stupid. <laughs> you fucking ironic idiot. Why did you just tell him Ace Ventura cracked you up a lot? <laughs> <laughs> Could have been in one of his movies, but no. Yeah, uh, Fast, Freddy, uh, Fast Freddy from Jamaica Station. Colin to Carlin in 1970. Enough with the cursing. It'll only hurt you in the end. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's go back to yeah. Jason. I don't know where the show's going. Yes. Jason Ritter. Yes. You know, Brian, you, you should stay next? away from the racial stuff. People don't go for that shit. Keep the tie on. Keep it clean. <laughs> Boo. So, Abba. you must be working on a new project now. <laughs> uh, no, you answered that no. already. No. Anything going on? I, well, I, there's a bunch of movies, that, the independent movies that I've done that I'm hoping that will come out. With, who, you never know. I hear they're called indies these days. <laughs> yes, oh. they're called indies. <laughs> the kids are calling them indies. <laughs> yes. You exactly. audition, you audition for stuff that you didn't get that we might know about. Oh gosh, uh, so many stuff. You know what I really wanted to audition for, and I didn't even get an audition. I really wanted to audition for Anakin Skywalker in those Star Wars. Uh, oh, that, Jesus Christ! That, but, Please, anybody. <laughs> but him, who was it? Would have been great. It was uh, Hayden Christensen. Hayden but Christensen. it wasn't. I mean, you know, in hindsight, you just think, oh my god, the opportunity to play Darth Vader before would be so awesome. Yeah, yeah. So those, those things like that. And I, the other one that I really messed up uh, was was uh, my I auditioned for Spider Man. And really? I, and it just was like you sure I, aim low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that, these are yeah. I mean, <laughs> as Spider Man. I, yeah. I mean, I never would have gotten it. It was like, but it was, but I just nerded out for the audition. Like I, like I 
dressed up and like tried to like do the gestures of Spider Man, <laughs> try to show oh, how much oh, I know shit. and love Spider Man. And they did the gesture of the middle finger going <laughs> yeah. up and saying, yes. "Take a walk, kids." I was like, "No, no, that's not how the web comes out." They're like, "No, we're just giving you the finger." <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> like, <laughs> this yeah. phony even had a line in Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, you know he what did. It was? I, I auditioned. <laughs> Surly. <laughs> it's called hitting a home run. Truck ah, driver. There you go. See, he said he stinks and I don't like him. Yeah, he's like, he said, "No, please." He walked in. He saw my face. Like that's a guy from Spider Man. I know. I need it. You're in a blockbuster. Second, oh, second yeah. unit. Oh, Is it second that. or third unit? That's the pivotal scene in Spider-Man. Teasing. Uh, I'll be going to do the same thing. I'm up for an episode unit. of Kath and Kim. Cool. <laughs> oh we'll God. see what happens. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> it's embarrassing when you... I just, I'm not a good auditioner. I am not or either. Actor. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not good once I get it either. Do you ever see Ed, the show with... Uh, yeah. Well, of course. See? I was in the third episode of Ed. You're too yeah, humble, Jim. You're too humble. I played uh, one of the three friends. It was me and Schuler Hensley, who's uh, on Broadway playing Young Frankenstein, and uh, another guy. <laughs> like, that legitimizes him. Yeah, yeah. what's happened there? <laughs> well, you know, three men who've got a lot. And uh, we what's played these three on? friends of Ed, Ed Kavanaugh, Tom Kavanaugh, of Ed, that come back in his, uh, t to see him now. <laughs> And after the episode, they're like, you know, they're talking about a spinoff for you guys. And we're like, really? Oh, uh, no. I thought we were going to get a spinoff of a show uh, that was only on its third episode. You were spun right uh, off the studio lot. <laughs> it was awful. I should have been spun into a condom and flushed down a toilet. <laughs> what, a, what a desperate to believe something zero. <laughs> Although, I was in a pizzeria one time on First Avenue with a girl. And we were eating pizza. And they were showing a rerun Ooh, of Ed. And spender. we looked up and it was my yeah, exactly oh, that's good. Dangerfield set. Uh, I'm gonna hold you, throw some pie at her, and hopefully she'll suck it. And then fucking uh, <laughs> the old Ed episode popped up, and but her back was to the TV. Oh no! And so I'm like, you... Fuck! And I'm like, oh, why? You... The, why are they showing this? Just so she's <laughs> trying to get her to look yeah. at it. Oh, so she turns around. How embarrassing! Yeah, well, there's that move where I would actually go to the bathroom and stand behind her and keep talking to her, so she'd have to turn around and look <laughs> and hopefully see me behind. As you're pointing at the TV. Yeah, and I'm like, what the fuck is it? What are, you know? What is it? The moon out? You know? He throws his hot slice on her lap, so she has to get up and scream and look at the TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I scolded her. There's a, one of my one of my good friends had a part in old school and we were at this bar and old school was playing on the TV behind us and we didn't see it and all of a sudden the the whole group of like all these like frat guys who were at there they they looked at the TV and they looked at my friend and they all started coming over and we freaked out because we thought they were gonna you know come kick our ass because that's usually our relationship to frat guys <laughs> but then they came over and they swarmed him and we who still barely got alive uh, his name's Simon Helberg he's on the Big Bang Theory now but um, we we've been friends since eighth grade he's really he's eighth one of the grade. funniest guys I've ever Wait, met who was he in old school. He was the, uh, remember that he's the guy, he's one of the pledges. Vince Vaughn goes, let's have a question from the guy who probably won't get in. That's my friend. <laughs> nice. <laughs> one of my friends was in that movie, too. Maybe you guys heard about him. Will Farris. Will Farris. <laughs> Will, <laughs> Will Farris. <laughs> Owen Wilson. You ever heard of him? Yeah. <laughs> and Jed Bush. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> Colin. Did you say Farris on purpose? Of course. Yes. Dude, yeah, I thought so. I don't very, know. I didn't say Jed Bush on purpose. Colin's no, very, I didn't say Jed Bush very on purpose. Funny. Yeah, we love Colin. <laughs> yeah. I still agree with my great insight about Jeb Bush being the mm. favorite. Yeah. Speaking, of, speaking of Will Ferrell. Yeah. Mm. He's oh. a fun guy to act with. I got to be honest. Oh, what the hell well. did you do with him? Is he at the World of Theater? No, no. he was on. Although this is by, no, no, why why oh, even I, explain? Why right. would I do that? The, uh, that's right. I ruined it. I want to know. Colin knew. What was he in? How old a man are you? You don't remember? Oh, the sketch on uh, the show. Yeah, your, your show, show that you wrote. Yeah. How old a <laughs> man am I? The man that put you in a sketch with all your idols. Like That's what I mean. No, How do you not remember yourself. that? So I acted I acted with Will Ferrell. When? When you put me there, Dumbbell. <laughs> on your well, I didn't show. count that as a movie. I That's how inconsequential it is no, was, to Colin. He doesn't care about what you're doing. That's how long I've been. It's nothing to me. I met, yeah. I met them all. Your Nero, bag of shells. Um, Bobby D, I've worked with everybody. Well, I wouldn't That's say the same person, right? You, you have been put out with a fire extinguisher in <laughs> front of all the majors. Bobby D? Fuck <laughs> 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 it. Same person. <laughs> well, that's a little more, <laughs> more accurate description. Uh, there he called it. He put me in a fucking sketch with Will Farrell. He put me in a sketch with Carlin, which is, you know, yeah. please. Wow. Uh, well, then you had, but how many of those and how many where you just had to sit there with stupid Patrice? <laughs> I, yeah, I paid my so dues in, in <laughs> shitty sketch acting. With fucking Voss. You know how many times I had to carry Voss or Keith? Oh, Voss. Keith. But the difference is, Keith, Voss has shame spirals. 
Keith is so blind to his own lack of talent <laughs> that he literally stands there like just numb to his own like, and he's just like ah, acting hard. Think, does yeah. he think he's good? Who, who yeah, he has, Keith Robbins. He's a he's a you've never heard of him. He's a colored fella. If you're a black guy from Philly really. who goes to comedy clubs, you still don't know who Keith Robinson is. <laughs> he's a black comic. Um, and he's kind of yeah, cheating, cheat on. Him. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. He's like an over the top, uh, you know, be shit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Voss uh, just is a bad yeah. Voss. We did a scene once on the, on the show, and Voss was sh he was wasn't that with his kids? With his kids, and his kids were actually decent, and he was just went just through his, awful. So then they did a oh. trick on him where they had Chaz Palm and Terry on the show, and they brought Voss in to do a scene from the Bronx tale, and Voss is bad even in, with sketches with us with no talents. Well, well, so he well, got well, shamed so in front of He him. didn't know. No, that, but he didn't know. Jimmy was going to play Chaz. Me, I was going to play and, Chaz's yeah. part from the Bronx tale. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what Voss or thought. a Bronx tale. I, told, uh, Bronx, I, said, to, <laughs> I said to Voss, uh, me and you are going to do a scene together. So and he's right. He's getting nervous. We're going to do this scene. So he's like in the bathroom studying the script. He's freaking he out. He didn't know Chaz was coming and in. And Voss is the only dumb Jew in America. He's really <laughs> yeah. He's, he's no as, brains. As stupid as they come. He's like a Guido Jew kind of guy. And uh, he's got tattoos. So we set the microphones up and we go. Uh, All right, here we go. And I get in front of the mic and Voss sets and then we just brought Chaz right in and handed him the script. And Voss, <laughs> Voss, it, it was just he did exactly what you think he would do. Can we play it? We he played it choked. In he he got that. He shaved yeah. spirals in front of us in the middle of the scene. Now, so it, in front of fucking Chaz. I, I was hoping that the story was going to be that all of a sudden Chaz Palmetteri raised the bar and all of a sudden Voss became this no. incredible. Oh, no, 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 it's Chaz. never, it's never a Chaz happy just, ending Chaz, like that. Chaz, <laughs> Chaz, Chaz just jumped on the bandwagon and helped stomp we, him. <laughs> <laughs> Colin, we got this. We should play. But, it. Well, but wait a minute, just a little more of a, a, a setup. setup. Chaz Palmetteri wrote this. He did it as a one-man show. Yeah. Made it into a movie by himself. <laughs> De Niro uh, directed yeah, it. Yeah, De Niro directed it as like a favor. And De Niro wanted Chaz's part, and Chaz wouldn't give it up, so yeah, De Niro yeah. played the father. So De Niro wow. played the father, directed it, and, and Chaz Palminteri, his lines are delivered with such smoothness that, that you, you don't even think he's acting. This it's is just him talking as his life. And then the stark contrast of this don't fucking you have a of voice? horse tooth boob. <laughs> you have a picture of voice? It's just <laughs> so, you can see him when he's so doing embarrassing it? to <laughs> listen God, to the contrast. Oh Do we have Do video have of that to just pop so up see? online? We could show yeah, we, or at least a picture Jason. of that. Yeah, we'll play this first. Fucking then, hyena. If we find the video. Robert De Niro. I remember he's surprised when he sees. In his directorial debut. We can't accept that. Starring Chaz Palminteri. I didn't give it to you, I gave it to son. And Rich Voss. Slowey, beans, I want my money. A prompt. Tail. Beans, you can't dodge me forever. Come on, what are you doing about? What are you yelling about, huh? John, I got a problem with this guy over here. Louis Beans, this guy owes me 20, and it's been two weeks now, and every time he sees me, he keeps dodging me, John. Should I crack him uh, one or what? The struggle of an idiotic Jewish comedian stammering his way through a few lines of film dialogue with a genuine Hollywood actor. Listen, see, sometimes violence is not the answer. Is he a good friend of yours or not? Nah, John, I don't even like him. Well, there's your answer right there. Look at it this way. It costs you $20 to get rid of him. He's never going to ask you for money again. He's never going to bother you again. He's out of your life for $20. Come on, you got him cheap. Uh, you're right, John. You're always right. A Bronx. <laughs> Tail. <laughs> you know the right answer all the time, Johnny. Well, I try to keep my eyes and ears open all the time, and I read. You read? Yeah, I read. Come on. Come on, let's go to Mario's next door and get something. Oh, oh wow. He's Louis Beans. When, he when he said, you read, watch what you read, that was the one he delivered wrong. <laughs> yeah. That was so natural for him yeah, to be shocked that somebody what? reads. You read? <laughs> I was thinking the exact yeah. same thing. Delivered like Olivier, that line. <laughs> you read. You read. That was, you that was read. Either the script. Voss just actually it came out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Next week, uh, Voss is getting all his teeth pulled out, and we're going to make him do his, uh, his act. Oh, good. With no, with teeth, no teeth. teeth. Yeah. Yeah, that's if going down next week. On the you show. saw a picture of him with the two when he came in last. Oh awful. yeah. Do we have the video of that? Like we just show quietly. For, uh, it's, oh, there, it's there's, so... there's Rich, and um, oh, that's the angle of shadows. He's so God. bad. We're watching Voss and Chaz. But Voss together. is all nervous. Oh yeah, you can't. I want to see full... his armpits because I know they're probably just dark. <laughs> What's with this awful angle that they shot Sweating. at? Fucking yeah, who, Sam. Who shot that, Sam. Jesus, what are you doing, Sam? I don't know, he's shot from the Fucking floor. Idiot. Little bastard. He missed everything. He's an amateur. He should be back in Syracuse. He's a rank amateur. <laughs> it's scorched. Look, he's missing Voss's face. Oh. Sam should be fucking fired. Sam stinks. Sam didn't shoot that. Oh. Oh, here's Sorry, Sam. Sam. Oh, do a little defense. Who what? did it, Sam? What? I don't know. I went there. 
What do you got there? Sam. I wasn't Every even day. in town when that happened. More and more. Sam's a rank Boom manager. Box. No, he's not. He wasn't in town. He wasn't in town. All right. I'd like to verify that. <laughs> oh, Marty, what's with that afro? It looks like, you know, 1973. Wow. <laughs> Life on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shitty writing. So did you? Oh, did you write this? By the way, this movie, the uh, uh, the girl wrote it. Don't you read the fucking paper? You yell for the paper. I'm not even on the show, and I know the girl wrote and directed it. Good yeah, day. yeah, Mariana Parker wrote day. and directed you, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uninterested cocksucker. I, <laughs> you shouldn't even gave him this paper. I read mine. Yeah, he didn't read yours. His girl for like eight or nine years. Yeah, I know that. I know yeah. that they've been together for nine years. There you go. Yeah, since she uh, he it. was 19 and she was 18. I hear everything. Was she ever? <laughs> was she ever 17 when you were going out with her uh, for like a week? Well, no, we we well we met when she was seventeen, ah. and then we dated. Uh, mm. She her birthday is September, so we started dating in October. Yes. So she was <laughs> well, I was nineteen anyway, so it's not like you know. No, I'm it's not, fine. I'm, not, I'm forty. <laughs> he's, he's I'm forty, and I never ask questions. Believe it. In this room, you really don't have yeah. to explain yourself. Hi, Mister. Oh, she's eighteen. <laughs> yeah. I do radio. Here's a lollipop. <laughs> oh, you can't. You can't get in the Escalade till you can say Escalade. <laughs> Should have stayed exactly where I was at the lollipop. <laughs> Hold it. Thank you. <laughs> Summed that up. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that made me very happy. I hate yeah. bombing. No, where's the new one? The Geraldo. Hmm? That you used oh, right. No, that's Opie Op uses that one all the time. The what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know where it is. Not There's people in the water. Yeah. Geraldo. It's fucking 11 o'clock already? Yeah, Wowie start. Kazowie. I'm in Reading, Pennsylvania tonight and tomorrow if anybody's... Oh, no, Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Harrisburg, Ooh. PA, doing a little gig, getting together some uh, material. Jimmy, what about your HBO show tonight? It's on tonight at midnight. See? Uh, tonight is the Patrice O'Neill episode with Russ mm, Eve. Nice. Uh, and uh, you can get uh, I Hate Your Guts, uh, my new book on pre-order at Amazon. It's like $8 cheaper if you buy it uh, on Amazon. Yeah. So, want to go order it? Not... Thanks for nothing. And if not... Uh, Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Yeah. If not, then you say. get an extra eight dollars, don't you? Yeah. Well, but what oh. about delivery costs? You know what, Carl? <laughs> uh, S and D. I don't get involved. You can talk to fucking Amazon about that. Mm -hmm. I just uh, I put out the product, and they, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know. Mm -hmm. And of course, Jason Ritter in the movie W out today. For you're in it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You really want to promote this good dick. Good dick. Yeah, yeah, good dick. Uh, that's what I'm going around the country. Yeah, w doesn't need help. W is fucking stalling. They're all promoting it. Yeah, you'll be yeah. fine with that one. Let's, yeah, yeah, Let's get people out to see good, good dick. Good dick. Yeah, definitely. Sunshine Theater is actually a great theater on the uh, on yeah, Houston uh, and Second Avenue here in New York. So it's a six thirty and nine o'clock show. Is that correct? Yeah, and yeah. we're gonna be there for Q and A's, but we'll also be there on Saturday and Sunday for the two okay. shows then. So, yeah. So uh, come anytime and come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well. Okay, I'll be with. By the way, where is it? <laughs> All right, we get it, Patty. Oh, it's out east. Uh, damn. Out east. Oof. Out east. Lower east side is out, out east. east. It was outside. It was, she's just, she means uh, well. Yeah, does she? <laughs> yeah, she's just a bug. Jason, Jason, now that we know you, you could trash her. Just, just. Do it. Yeah. She seems like a very nice no, person. No, just trash her. Oh. She, He's not going to trash her. She, 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 she didn't do anything to me. She says yeah. nothing to anybody. She's a lovely, she's <laughs> a lovely lady, and I, I hope she comes and sees the movie. She didn't there you nothing. go. I never did nothing to anybody. No, you had other people do it for you. <laughs> yeah. Would I love to see Patty taken out like fucking Mel? In <laughs> Mel. Oh. A good bull. Oliver Stone. Yeah, you can't shoot a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever said you was one, Pat. He was a champ, though, at the end, where he just goes, he knew it was fuck happening. You. He just goes, best, hey, fuck you. Best fuck like, you ever. Yeah, he didn't. Fuck you. He didn't beg. Gets shot in the gut. Hey, how about if we, we could you? take care of it? He's like, all right, look. Hey, we're at the point. We yeah, can still take care deal of with this. He's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can't kill a cop. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, it's over. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> well, when he saw the gun, how, he goes, first class tickets to the resurrection. To the resurrection. There's no way you're not getting shot after a line but like that. But you thought maybe he was going to pull out two first class tickets. No, because the resurrection's <laughs> always booked. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we fucking promoting my motherfucking weekend, too? What are you doing? Well, then it's promoted. It fucking comes Caroline's Friday. Caroline, Friday. Caroline is that tonight fucking and tomorrow? Prick. You know, I didn't yes, want to be accused is. of being too uh, proper right? like I was earlier. You see that? You bit Go the hand that fed you. Language, please. Because I would love to see Colin. 
F that. Go see Colin. <laughs> F that. <laughs> F everything. Just go see him. 212-757-4100. Yeah. Very funny. Uh, Very if you funny want, you probably just walk up and get tickets. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you hey. suck. Wow. Uh, uh, you know, even though you may be busting my balls, walk up to a camper and great major part of business. They certainly do. Fuck uh, they... oh, you. Know, Enjoy your drive to Harrisburg, cocksucker. <laughs> I don't drive. <laughs> For me, it's a ride. Lurch uh, drives. I like the fact oh, that oh. he says, Reading. No, actually, Harrisburg. They're the same city. He does not do it. Really? Hey. <laughs> Reading. <laughs> Harrisburg. I, mean, I would fly there. What are you doing driving? <laughs> hey, Jake off. <laughs> hey, Louis Beans. <laughs> yeah, this is Louis Beans. He owes me $20. What do I do? Should I suck his cock? Oh! <laughs> he was doing nice clay as Reagan before it was so fucking brilliant. Yes. Oh as God. they slip the surly bonds of earth and touch the face of God. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, get your fucking wall down already. It's your problem, asshole. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm amazing. sucking, his chick is sucking, I almost had that sucking dick. <laughs> I think we did that one, too. Yeah. Nothing oh, yeah. was better than footprints, though. Mm. Dice don't that's, footprints, that's... so download that one. We might have to replay that one. During the hardest times of my life, <laughs> there was one set of footprints. Hey, Jesus, where'd you go? <laughs> <laughs> Do Dice and good dick. Do Dice and good dick. Excuse so me, you you watch you watch uh, you watch porno. You like uh, you like uh, banana juice on your face. A goose, a goose. Oh, I like watching pornographic movies. Good, honey. Let me tongue your ass and stick it in. Oh, thank you. Good night. Oh God. Well, nice. That is, that is Andrew sad. Dice. Anybody. Andrew Dice anybody. Doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, there's a movie coming out just called D. It's Dice. <laughs> I'm the president. Bomb the motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Andrew Dice. D. Wow. I'm the movie where Dice is president is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I'm running against the Schwarzer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in character. It's okay. Uh, oh, man. D. Uh, D. I remember we had Dice, the best time was having Dice on the phone and doing that with him. And Dice actually said on the phone, he goes, I'm not going to argue with me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. He was talking to the replay. Yeah, yeah. He's talking to the replay yeah, machine. Dice cooks, and, so we, we, would, oh. we would only talk to him through the machine. Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> one, one of these days we should just drag yeah, we'll, his, get, we'll get him back on. His fat ass back in here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, God right. damn. Why don't we let uh, Jason get out of here? Yes. He's a busy man. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jason. It was a pleasure no, thanks, meeting you, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. I, I, it's exciting for me to be on with you guys. Great, man. You're just, uh, you know, a kid in a business <laughs> in Hollywood. 28? You've been active for a long time? Uh, yeah. About 10 years, something like that. Yeah. Got the bug. Yeah. Yeah. The old bug. Yeah, it'll happen. <laughs> yeah. I got I to gotta bring up the fact that uh, your dad was... Friggin' unbelievable in the oh. Sling Blade. Oh, oh, that's thanks, actually what man. I was thinking that of the movie, was... too. I was thinking of why did we talk about this? Confederacy of Soldiers that's... was the book, yeah. remember? Yeah. Because no, it's one of those touches that, like, no one talks about my dad either. Yeah. Like, ah. Eh. My dad wasn't an actor, you know, he just drank a lot. But <laughs> you know. they, they talk about him. Yeah. Not, I talk about him throwing spaghetti. My memories of my dad was him throwing spaghetti against the wall and my mother calling him a fucking prick. <laughs> That was always the great fucking uh, he was great time actor. of my life. He was playing the dissatisfied customer <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, Ro. That was all just Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it was just awful. Yeah, Sling Blade was fucking great. Cause I, I know it I it was that, such a departure. It, you was, know? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. It was whispered really soft on the lines up. Just don't hurt. It was really fucking great, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That sensitive character with the whole... Uh, and having to deal with that prick fucking... Uh, what's Dwight his Yoakam. Name? Dwight Yoakam. Who, by the way, who knew he was? He would be that good in that movie? I know. He's... Playing just a he's scumbag. Playing but, Jimmy Jackson? Uh, oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was like Jimmy Jackson. And this retard and something. And he's like... 
No, I'm, I'm just, just kidding. kidding. And you <laughs> yeah. know he's just not. Yeah. Get the fuck out of my house. That's how I break up every party now at my yeah. house. I just get up. <laughs> get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> yeah. He is amazing. I'll make you sorry your daddy ever squirted your little ass out. No, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. No, I'm what a sorry. fucking prick. <laughs> yeah, Poor little crazy. Frank hearted meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is just a great movie, but he was uh, he was fantastic in that. Oh, Although my favorite that had yeah. to be J T Walsh, not oh. just because of our, our yes. similar personalities. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, oh. was he a fucking oh, wow. Jesus. <laughs> just looking out the window, talking about good old times. Do you know how yeah. bad uh. you have to be for a guy to murder somebody with a lawnmower blade and say, "Don't talk to me no more." <laughs> yeah. He was offended by what he was saying <laughs> yeah. after he yeah. buried a fucking hatchet in his mom's head. Uh. <laughs> Uh, great. Let's oh, get the man. fuck out of here. Yeah, Jason, it's Friday. No, My party starts. Me. Yeah, it's party time for right Anthony. now. <laughs> Definitely. Jason, and then Sunday morning, I go get the fuck, fuck out of my it. house. <laughs> I'm pushing people in wheelchairs against the door. Gonna get the band together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Carl, how long have you been standing out here? Oh God, <laughs> right? Yeah. Stupid Carl, You're just, just lurking in there. Meh. Meh. Waiting for you to come to the door. <laughs> Love that. Great movie. And Billy Bob Thornton will never be better than he was. I mean, he's does he's a good actor, but that it, completely different that. entity too. Yeah. Like you see Billy Bob Thornton, and you go, you can't even imagine that yeah. that was him. No, it doesn't look like him. Yeah, at it doesn't all. look he like him. So doesn't Mr. sound Woodcock. like him. He has been. Better. I couldn't get through it. I laughed all the way into the thing. I couldn't watch it and laugh. The funny name. Shut up. I did. <laughs> Woodcock. Look at the penis on the poster. He's on two basketballs. Oh, yeah. and they're kind of biased balls. <laughs> like, yes. Yeah. Woodcock, Woodcock, I heard, Ralph. I, I, <laughs> I got it, Ralph. Cock out on wood like this, Alice. You have no sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it there, the cattle get it. Oh. <laughs> Leave it there, the cattle. I heard she just cut some off. It's I heard, Ralph. I heard, Ralph. It's the greatest it's shut your great. fucking mouth line ever. <laughs> Honeymoon is nothing funnier, man. It would, Love it. The, the chick, that's a guy thing. There's nothing that will break a relationship faster than, than fucking, well, infidelity. But after that, <laughs> yeah, well. her not liking the honeymooners drives me fucking nuts. Yeah. Oh, I hope those are the kind of astute things we see in your book, faggot. Ooh. Anyway. At least, <laughs> at least I don't have to hide my DVDs in the closet, though, when the girl comes over. <laughs> Uh -huh. As far as breaking up a relationship, mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, well, no, a little bit of a problem. But I was saying, Collins, I don't like your girl because I don't like the honeymooners. And what I was saying is I don't need the male Irma Bombeck. So <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> nice <laughs> reference. <laughs> Jesus Christ, a columnist from the 70s. You know, it's 1973. How about that Irma Bombeck? Isn't she great? I fucking live in life on Mars. <laughs> they actually did. He, t he opened the paper up at one point and did say, hey, what's Dagwood up to now? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Did you hear that? Yeah, I blocked it out like a childhood rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. He didn't say that. Yes, he did. You promise? I promise you, Colin. I wouldn't lie to Colin Quinn. What's Dagwood up to now? Christ. I like to know sometimes, too. I just get a kick out of the fucking blood. Well, no, that's not the point, but I understand. Yeah. Yeah. Are we doing line of the day? Yeah. Fuck well, line of the day. We're out of here. Yeah, we'll, well just you do know what? I'm no, calling no, no, no. it. Yeah. I'm calling it for rain. We'll just do the plug, though. Webex.com. Hold oh, yeah. meetings. Make Talk presentations. Do it from the comfort of your own home. Fuck that. They pay for this shit, Colin. Hold on a second. Uh, <laughs> check it out at Webex.com. <laughs> you up. Do us a favor. Webex.com. Just go there and click on something so they think uh, their advertising's working. Yes! Right? <laughs> Obi, Obi cuts to the chase. Uh, yeah. Hey, right, shut up. They're paying for this, Colin. Yeah, that's all they pay for this garbage. That's all they want is you to click on something. So go click on something. Webex.com. Jason Ritter, thank you. We're out of here. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.